Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Morning, how are you all? Uh, oh my word, it's been one of those mornings this morning, but we're all right. Shall we start with the early bird? Now you know platinum, the blue, the blues, and the purples for the uh, for the um, what's it called? That thing that's happening this year, Jubilee. Jubilee, right? I'm just having to turn Haley up. Haley's producing me today, by the way. So what you get for your early bird? is look it's one and a half meters of rosen hubble imperial purple it's gorgeous isn't it that's already cut off right like this so you get this as one piece if you buy two you'll get two pieces this big because they're already cut now if you bought this tonight after midnight or you buy it tomorrow it will cost you 11 pound 37 which is brilliant which is fantastic but it's the early bird no right ready eight thirty seven eight pounds and thirty seven pence that's three pounds off that's a pound a half a meter off well done if you got this imagine you're going to make your bunting you're going to make your bunting you're going to make your banners you're going to... tablecloth you're going to start off a tablecloth this you'll do some applique for the jubilee how brilliant would that be now it's rose and hubble it's 100 percent cotton it's 44 inches wide it's machine washable it's what hayley yeah well how, how much is it half meter normally all right okay so you're now paying 79p for one of your half meters you see what I mean? It's brilliant, isn't it? It's gorgeous colour. Now, remember, if you multi-buy, they do not come join together. But if you're making bunting, that doesn't matter. Oh, my word, loads of you there. Kate says, good morning. Jane says, good morning. Sue says, good morning. Jane says, excited to see Sarah this morning. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Do you know her, Sarah? Uh, 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 Jane. Good morning, lovely man, says Anne. Don't know what she's watching. Um, Jill says, good morning, John. I see you've shaved this morning. Oi, don't be giving our secrets away. I shaved last night, actually. Uh... Judith says good morning. Derek says morning. What a fantastic. Oh, Derek, it's your pulling colour. Now, Derek, you'd need a metre and a half. That's not enough to make a shirt for you, is it, to get around your tummy? Anyway, uh, where are we up to? Laurie says good morning. Great shirt. Margaret says good morning, everyone. Uh, have I missed anyone out? No. Uh, yeah, I know. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous colour. Now, if you multi buy, they do come already cut. So if you buy two of these, you'll get a metre and a half piece and another metre and a half piece. So it's fine, absolutely brilliant. Right, we had so many of these, right, because Hayley's in charge today. We had so many of these and loads have gone. Loads have gone, hundreds have gone already. Make sure you check out though. Make sure you check out. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Even if you're not celebrating the, the Jubilee, it's a gorgeous purple, isn't it? Patricia says, good morning, John. Loving you from Blackpool. Julie Vaughan says, morning, John and team. It's lovely that you're all there. Morning, morning, morning on a gorgeous Monday morning. Mind you, the wind was last night. Did the wind keep you awake? Blimey, it was noisy, wasn't it? Noisy. I, hope my, I didn't even check this morning because it was pitch dark. Wasn't windy in Dudley? You don't live in Dudley? Have you moved back? Anywhere? Kings Winford, that's a bit posher. Much posher, much posher. £8.37. She's from Dudley, the same as Rachel. Louise says good morning. Lynn says good morning. Raining in Garstang. Lulu says morning. Going to work on the bus. Don't be having me on loudspeaker on the bus, whatever you do. Dulcie does that at Pyman Studios or Shepherd or wherever she is. She puts me on the loudspeaker and everyone can listen to me. £8.37. 
and that's only till midnight tonight. If you try and buy this at one, po one point, one minute past midnight, you will pay the 11th, which is still a brilliant price. Oh, we're going to sell out. Gonna, I love a sellout on a Monday morning. Okay, if everyone checks out 40 units, right, I've got 20 meters left. Once everyone's checked out, we've got 20 meters left. And believe me, Haley put everything in. If they look for purple tomorrow, they're going to be stuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they ordered more specially. Haley knew they'd ordered more specially. We did. Ha oh, now we did have another early bird, which I'm going to do at the beginning of Yarn Lane. And I promise we'll start Yarn Lane on time. None of that going over. We. Oh, I don't know. All the ladies messing me going. It's so from today, uh, Yarn Lane will start on time. And look, it's it's all this Yarn Lane coming up. Stuart's doing all these on Yarn Lane later. Okay, this is going to sell out. This is going to sell out. Make sure you check out your baskets. Make sure you check out your baskets. Right. Let's have a look at today's menu. That's you, Hayley. Oh, hang on. Shall we do how to get in touch while she's finding it? We'll do how to get in touch. Three ways you can get in touch. You can message us by email. Studio at SewingStreet.com. Uh, Stuart got, uh, no, yeah, Derek got it. He ordered extra fabric for his tummy. Susie Duncan says she's very wet imbued. Uh, June says morning. Looking forward to today's show. Kath says good morning. It's raining there as well. And Chandler's Ford. Suzanne says good morning. Have a great day from Windy Aberdeen. Claire says good morning. Julie says looking forward to seeing Sarah. She's brilliant. I did a trio of zips workshop at the Stitch Festival with her. Wow. Anyway, uh, you can send Facebook Live messages, which are the ones I've been shouting out. There's your Facebook Live one. And the third way is by going to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Yeah, we're just getting that for you now. That's, the, oh, hang on, I'm very confused. Hang on, we will find it for you. There it is, there it is. Right, what you need to do is click on watch the show live, which, I, why is she giggling? Right, okay, so there's a little white box on the right-hand side there. You can write your message in there, and it will come through with the white boxes on my bottom during the show. Now, I apologise now if you don't get to see them. I can't read what that says. Oh, good morning, it says. Good morning. Right, if you scroll down the page, you will see everything that we have got for today's show. Now, at the moment, it's only one column, because we haven't done anything yet, apart from the early, but the pre-order is there. Everything... Coming up in the next five hours, including Yarn Lane, including Yarn Lane, is all there. We've got that gorgeous calendar girl fabric, we've got rulers, we've got books, we've got uh, pre-cuts, we've got 10 inch squares, we've got everything. Then we go into the next, that's Stuart's bag. Yeah, yeah, if you can't watch all day, especially things like Stuart's bag, because they sell out in no time at all. So get what you want. There's the uh, Sussex Seamstress skirt that Sarah is making. I'll tell you about the menu in a second. And lovely jumbo cords there. Then we've got more fabric coming up. Oh, now you see, I've not seen any of this yet. It's not arrived. Brand new Moda Metallics. Oh. Yeah, wait. Apparently they're gorgeous. I'll get to see them. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look, what's that? Oh, lovely. All moda, all moda, all moda. Right, we're going to make sure they definitely send that torch up because normally, if I'd known we were doing it, I'd bring mine in from home as the sample. So I'm hoping that the warehouse sent one up and we've got time to charge it up to show you how brilliant that light is. Oh, bless you. Then we go to Yarn Lane. There's some needles there. Then these gorgeous Stylecraft kits. Now, I'll show you. I don't know if we... I'll show you the shelves in a second when we come to do that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So that's Yarn Lane. Now, you, can I just tell you something? You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere to watch Yarn Lane. You stay here. You stay here, made it easier. Everything will appear here. And if, but it does go on the Yarn Lane YouTube. Afterwards, if you're looking for YouTube, it goes to the Yarn Lane YouTube, not the Sewing Street YouTube. Right, shall we see the menu? Coming up today, oh, can I have it on the big telly, please? We have tools and fabric at eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the sewing tote bag with Stuart Hillard, who wants to be called Alexis Colby Carrington today. Uh, have we got a picture of that, please? Brand new exclusive, brand new and exclusive to us today. Beautiful, that's just one side. Where's the other side? 
Charlie spent hours photographing it this morning, I can't tell you. And he's got his dancing trousers on again today, but for some, for some very grey trainers. Anyway, then the most important thing at 10 o'clock, search for a star finalist. Sarah Brangwyn is here. She's going to be doing a Sussex seamstress skirt. All five are going to be on this week. So I'm on with Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm on with four. And then Vix has got one on on Wednesday. And then you start voting. After, after the last one's been on on Friday, right, you start voting for them because you vote. 11 o'clock, there's the metallic fabric. We talked about whispers. Whisper in the morning. La, da, 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 da. Oh, he's here, he's here. Alexis Colby Carrington. Are you all right carrying that sewing machine? <gasps> we're pretending we're in a swimming pool having a fight or a pond. And then at 12 o'clock, Yarn Lane, Starcraft Kits and Toys with Stuart Hillard. Now, I don't know if we've got pitched those, but look at these. Are they gorgeous? So not only are the soft toys, there are also like hats and mittens. And look, I don't know if this will fit me actually. It's made for a child, this one, obviously. It's nice, isn't it? Look. I love it. I've stretched it beyond belief now. <laughs> that one won't be going back. Right. Okay, so is that everything? I've done everything. Let's start. At the very beginning, a very good place to start. Now, Calendar Girls. Now, Wendy Orlando made lots and lots of things out of these. We think she's nicked them. We think she must have nicked them because we can't find them anywhere. If you're watching Wendy Orlando, where are they? Or if you're watching Cat, not Producer Cat, Floor cat, she won't be with she. Where are they? We don't know where they are. Anyway, this is a mega bundle and it's also by the half meter. So it's brand new, this fabric, brand new. Now I've never seen it before. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I did go to see Calendar Girls at the theater with my friend Fern Britton was in it. Anyway, look, so this is the mega bundle, 84 pounds and 89 pence. You get half a meter of each of these. Do you, where does it say that, hang on. Oh yeah, there you go, half meter for free. I oh, love that one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Uh, Becky's just run off to see if she can find some samples of it from another room. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these. Oh, look. How love. Hello, sunshine sees the day. Ty I'll go through. I will go through details for the minute. But oh, look. Now these are very Jan Jennifer Paganelli-ish, aren't they? Oh, poor. You've made Becky run all the way to the storeroom. And now you found pictures. Aren't they beautiful? I'm just going to switch the aircon off as well because it's freezing in it. I've got new shoes on today as well. I'm having trouble walking in them this morning. Aren't they beautiful? 84 pounds and 89 pence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven fabrics you get in there. Eleven fabrics. Oh, hang on. Hayley wants to see this one. This is Hayley's favourite. This is how Hayley wishes she could live her life. Oh, hang on, let me move that one. There you go. Cute as a button, isn't it? Lovely, got that ocean. Oh, I know what these are like. They're like cathedral window foldy over bits, look. How beautiful. So who's designed this then? Free Spirit, Calendar Girls. Oh, it's by Annie Kleena Higgick. No, 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 no. Wendy Orlando's nicked them, isn't she? Anyway, look, I want to show you my favourites. I love this one. This is one I think looks like uh, Jennifer Paganelli, this one. So, uh, can I just tell you, it's really lovely quality as well. Beautiful green, soft sage green, that one. Like bouquet, that one. Hyacinth bouquet. There's so many, I don't know which is my favourite. I love this. Beautiful, gorgeous collection. I love this one. This is me. The, uh, so Hayley wants to live the first one. This is my life, this one. Look. I haven't got a dog. Walking the cats. Ice skating. Going on my bike. Well, I don't ever look like that. Swinging on my garden swing. Aren't they just... Look at that one. That one's stunning, isn't it? With the little birds on it. Then this one's got little... Um, what's it's on it? Here you go. Sayings. Time flies when you're having fun. I wouldn't know that about that. Seize the day. Hello, sunshine. Hello. Now, the, also, calendar girls, you couldn't do one without a calendar, could you? They've got clothes on, don't worry. Do you know the story, Charlie, of calendar girls? It's about the WI made a calendar and they're all naked and they're all behind, like, the, what they like, gardening things or cooking. And there's a film all about it as well and a West End show and everything. 
there's only five mega bundles left. There's only five. Me now you could make all this. This is what Wendy made. They'll have fallen to pieces by now. That's why we haven't seen them. I bet she's taken them home. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. What's that one there with the? That's not this fabric. That's not this fabric. Ignore that picture. Ignore that picture completely. That's not this fabric at all. Who thought that was this fabric? Okay, it's the wrong fabric. Ignore those pictures. Wendy Orlando, sorry. Okay, she made a quilt out of this. So let's just double check before we show it to you. I'll have a look at it on my pro preview screen, please. Uh, anyway, 84, 89. There's only a couple of these left now. Well done if you got yours. It's, it, remember, it's free spirit fabric, so it's gorgeous quality. So I told you we had a picture of a quilt. I'll get it for you. I might as well make you one, right? No, this time it's taken. I'd be much quicker, wouldn't I? Uh, oh, loads of you coming through. Jan, the other Jan says, good morning, everyone. Didn't realise what time it was. Lynn I haven't seen you for ages, Lynn Tewitt. Reporting back for duty after being in Cyprus for two weeks. Oh, that could be why. Sue Shaw says, morning, John and team from a gloomy Cardiff. Bon Got in quick for Stuart's bag. Can't wait for it to arrive. Well, it won't be packed yet. Hilary says, morning, John. Looking forward to watching you and Stuart at 10 o'clock. You're so good together. Oh, we've been having a banter already this morning. How's he lost so much weight in such a short amount of time? And he's told me, right? So I'm going home today and I'm going to wear my pants and I'm going to do this thing where you go like this. He's been showing me all the moves this morning and he says he does it in his lounge. Oh no. Keep going through for this. Oh, these are gorgeous. We're going to do them all separately now. We'll do them all separately now. Okay, don't worry. That's fine. We've, the computer's eaten the picture of the quilt. There was a lovely quilt anyway. Right, now, shall I... I've gone very echoey. Hang on a sec. Shall I shout out the number and you do it? Yeah. Right, hang on. I've got two here. So I'm going to start with this one here, which is... NJU130. Now remember, it's 44 inches wide. You're not getting a fat quarter. I'll hold it up, ready? Now, now, if you buy the Mega Bundle, it's already cut into half meter pieces, right? This is your chance to cut it off the bolt now. So if you want three meters to make a circular skirt or something like that, you can have three meters to build, a but build, make a circular skirt. What do what we call this one? Seize the day pink. Seize the day, isn't that carpe diem, seize the day. It says seize the day. Hello sunshine, and time flies when you're having fun. We wouldn't know about that because none of us have any fun here. And they're all very, very limited. Well, they've only been shown once and they flew out. Who had these then first? 749, half a meter. I can see a new Sewing Street DVD, Keeping Fit with John and Stuart. Jan says, morning, John. I'm awake too. You're looking very th trim today. Well, it's only because Stuart, I'm holding it all in because Stuart's lost so much weight. 7 pounds 49 Oh, uh, Hayley wants to be the manager of the DVD. Well, I'll be putting the music on. Stuart will doing the, Stuart's better at doing them. That's what you have to do in front of the window in your pants. 7 pounds 49 Keep going through. Very limited. These fab... Oh, Karen. Yeah, Karen from Wigan. I can see you in a Morrison's frock in these. Right, so the next one is a very similar... one. Well, it's not. It's the calendar one, ending 19. WSU 19. WSU 119. Oh, it's sold out. I was going to do birthdays and everything. It's Charlie's birthday. That's only in the Mega Bundle, that one. Only in the Mega Bundle. Right, so then this one here is the girls on a swing which is uh, AZUI34 only four meters this one left I was going to do birthdays it's Charlie's birthday this month he's 15 yeah 23rd but he won't be here because he's going on his holidays Greece Athens with two F's yeah, you do, Hayley. You do need, definitely need a holiday. Poor old Hayley's worked so hard this last couple of years, like proper, proper hard. But no, uh, Hayley, you have. You have. Like, she's, she worked so, so hard. Well, I'm getting a bit emotional. 
Oh, I'll stop that. I'll stop that. I'll stop that. I'll stop that. But she has. I just want to say that truly, 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 she's worked so hard this last couple. No, but you have. You, you, you have no chance. You know. Anyway, I'll stop now. 7.49. 7.49. I didn't hear that bit, but I don't want to hear it. But Charlie, just move away. £7.49. You're about the same age as her son anyway, Charlie, so I wouldn't go. <laughs> You're safe. Right. Here we go. This is lovely. Now, what colour would you call this green? It's VDUIO5. <laughs> okay, that's not very romantic. Dull lime. What colour would you call it, Charlie? Are well, you nervous? Oh, she's got. <laughs> She's got, she's a bit a very health conscious, which you all should be. She's got, rub, um, they're not rub, even rubber gloves. They're those really thin, like plastic, snappies cling film gloves. I, uh, I had to wear them when I gave um, Luther and Ghost their flea and what's it, you know. I thought that Stuart had lost weight when I saw him on Stone Street on Saturday. It really shows in his face. No, Kath, it's really funny. I turned the telly on yesterday. And I thought, oh, they've done something with the lenses. Look how thin Stuart looks. Anyway, he walked in this morning. He's that thin. Well, he's not, I won't go thin. I won't go that far. Um, oh, he'll come in in a minute. Good month to have my birthday. Granddaughter Caitlin's on the 23rd, same as Charlie. Mine's on the 30th, says Morag. Beautiful, gorgeous. I love this one. No. Hayley used to have a toy that she'd put it down, you'd draw her over the head. You mean like consequences, whatever it's called, where you wear a different body and a different leg and everything like that. Well, I never, I never saw the paper when we colour it in. Charlie won't even know what a piece of paper and crayons are. They don't know the kids of these days, do they? Oh, Stephanie's birthday was on the 1st. Oh, 1st of April, Steph. Never mind. That's gorgeous. I love that one. Yeah, they're nearly all of these are nearly all sold out. Then we've got the very first one I showed you, which was the Blue Cathedral Windows one, <coughs> which has got no sticker on it. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. E-O-U-I-51. <coughs> oh, I'm a bit... Um, <coughs> I'll just have some mud ginger water to stop me coughing. How many? Nine metres left of this one, that's it. We won't be ordering it again, that's it. I've never seen it before, I love it. Oh, now, I'm not going to see Hayley after the show, so I might have to ask her lots of work questions <laughs> during, during the day, because I've got to rush off. I've got a dentist appointment today. Yeah. And it's the full-on, it's the full-on hygienist and dentist and everything. They'll have their space suits on. They have to still wait outside. Gorgeous. Now, floral. This is lovely. This is A-R-U-I-51. It's got little birds on. Blue bird of happiness, this one. It's cute, isn't it? Time flies, they've called this one. Our early bird was purple, solid purple. Oh, you mean the, the logo. I see what you mean, the ones that fall, come flying in. We should get rid of that one now soon, shouldn't we? £7.49. Which one was it? £7.49. Keep going through. Have you started right in the middle? Hayley's just started a cross stitch home, so she was on it for hours and she only got that much done. No, don't bother. You can bring it in when it's finished. <coughs> and I'll come in on my OAP, you know, bus pass, because it'll take that long. Mind you, it's not that long till I'm an OAP, is it? Right, let's do this one now, then this pink one. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Uh, RBUI54. No, 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 no. I want to talk about, I want to talk about the um, Festival of Quilts. You have to tell me now, you have to tell me now, but... Oh, when is it? Oh, no, I'll definitely come to the meeting. Right. Calendar Girls Beach Date, this one is. 
Yeah, where's the thongs, Haley says. Oh, it's one of those beaches. Um, Charlie, do you still do uh, date nights with your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, Haley says every night's a date night when you're his age. Yeah. Beautiful. The rest of us are all sad singletons, aren't we? Becky's a sad singleton. Haley's a sad singleton. I'm just old. £7.49. You have to start going out with Rachel. She seems to be out all the time with that. Um, what's her personal trainer girl called? Nikki. They're out all the time. Crazy Lorraine. Steve's birthday was on the 1st of April and we're still waiting for the great grandchild to arrive. Are they related? His birthday, the great grand. I thought you said you'd already. I thought they'd arrived. I thought you put on Facebook they'd arrived. My birthday also this month. I'm going to be a pensioner, says Ellen. Oh, Ellen, are you really? You see, in the old days, it was 60 and 65, wasn't it? So I, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be a pensioner yet, but um, it's just, it's not anymore, is it? Just keep going till you drop these days, don't you? Oh, that's your pension. That's your pension. But you'll get your bus pass before then, won't you? Here we go. Hats and scarves and mittens, this one. Do you want a number? I haven't got a number on this one, actually. Oh, yeah, sorry. There. Well done, Charlie. It's a young eyes, you see. He's obviously not been out clubbing this weekend. I can't imagine you clubbing somehow. Winter White, this one's called Will Woolly. Nearly said that wrong. Woolly Winter White. <laughs> anyway, I want to go clubbing. Oh, I'd love to go clubbing again. Don't want what? No, not bingo clubbing, like proper, full-on rave dancing, sweating and laughing and having a good time. Well, what's stopping me is they'll stop me going in, won't they? Go, no old people in here, sorry, sir. No trainers. <laughs> Gorgeous, this is lovely. Winter, wool, no, woolly winter white, this one's called. Moving on. Then I've got pumpkins. There's something for everybody in here, aren't there? TVU170. This one's harvest, winter. There's the whole season, isn't there? Gorgeous. 7.49. Five me. Time percent cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, yeah, that you could, the thing is, you can make a lovely summer frock out of this. Nobody ever knows. It's got, um, what are those things called? Pumpkins on them. And sunflowers. That's September, isn't it? That's harvest time, that one. Colours are lovely, though, aren't they? Gorgeous. Where's the berries? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hayley's having trouble talking this morning. She was just going like this. Eight. Eight. And then she went, eight minutes. I looked at the clock thinking, what's happening, Nate? Mitch went, eight metres. We got there. We got there in the end. Of course, now it's not eight metres because she took so long telling us. Right, now I've got pale blue. Looks like Tinkerbell almost, this one. It isn't Tinkerbell. It's the wrong, obviously, collection. Oh, they've got the names on here. Errand Day, this one's called. That's like me doing my errands on my day off. Yeah, I haven't got a dog. I sit in the garden with the cat, so. No. What well, they can't have cats can't have collars on. Don't have what? They're microchipped, so if anyone picked them up and took them to a vet, you could find out where they lived. He's got, he's got a what tag? What's an air tag? No. Her, their cat, right? Uh, oh, I'm, I, I, I wonder if that works with a microchip. It's got an Apple Air tag on it, right? So she, she can look at her phone and see where the cat is. That would stress me. Because what happens when you look at it and you think, oh, it's the other side of the village. No, I'd just rather mine just had fun. Don't want me breathing down the necks, do they? Right, then, last one. Love Arts. I can tell you what it's called because it's written on here. Love Day. It's such a perfect day. Recommend boogie nights at the Burgess Hall in St Ives, Cambridgeshire. Proper 70s vibes, says Susan. Yeah, 
Crazy Rain says, can't get your bus pass till you get your pension. Oh, so you won't get your bus pass till you're 67 then. John, I'll take your club in. Yeah, we'll go clubbing in uh, Grand Canaria. She hasn't been for a couple of years, has she? 789. She goes to a drag queen bar and nobody can tell the difference between her and the drag queens. 749. Yes, Crazy Lorraine. Yeah, you know Crazy Lorraine has. Right, have I got any of the Mega Bundle left? Couple left, so let me just recap before I move on. So you get all of these. Now remember, in the, in the Mega Bundle, they're all already cut to half a metre. And that one is not available anywhere else but in the Mega Bundle now. £84.89. pence. get half a metre for free. Gorgeous. That, um, hang on. I'll talk to you a minute about that. Well, you get 11, but you get one for free, don't you? Okay, this bundle, if this mega bundle, should be 74 and is that right 74.99 oh no hang on i got it wrong i might be wrong i might be wrong ignore me ignore me back to the overhead one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you get there's eleven there but you get that one for free so if these are seven pound 49 each you should only be paying 74 pounds and 99p you will pay if you've bought the mega bundle sorry about this if you if you've bought the mega bundle you will only be charged 74.99 exactly 74.90 74.90 isn't it sorry i should have kept my up but i want i'm on the customer side me so you will pay 74 pounds 90 for that nice little bit of a saving there isn't it Oh, Maureen is back in the car park. There's only one more day to go. Oh. Yeah, we can't... If you, if, if you have any issues, let me know. I'll sort it. I'll get Hayley to sort it for you. Right, it won't show you now. It'll show when you, when you check out at midnight tonight. Then you'll see. Then you'll see it's the 74.90. Right, okay, so that goes over there. Right, what's next then? Pre-cut chair. Oh, have we? Oh, now, now, Hayley, you need to know that on the sheet there's only this, but this was sent up as well. We didn't know if you'd added this afterwards. Oh, okay, okay. So you tell me what it is and I'll do it. The 10 inch shampoo on its own, first of all. I love this because the colours are so pure. Let me just take those out of there. The colour. As are so pure these are going to go with anything aren't they but they are the Tula pink designer solids 42 of them 10 inch charm pack 44.99 beautiful colors it's free spirit fabric look it's free spirit fabric look it says here that's good good quality well you know if you bought Tula from us before beautiful beautiful quality and you get all the different colors she only uses pure colors now she never uses brown You'll never find a brown in a Tula Pink collection. That's a fact. She said that when she was on air with me, yeah. She said, there's enough brown in this world already. She doesn't need to add to it. She's another one who's lost loads of weight as well. I don't know. See, when Charlie gets back to the gym, he'll be able to lose weight as well. £44.99, pence. you get te 42 10 inch squares in there, those gorgeous colours. When I first moved to London I used to get a paper chase and each week I'd buy myself some writing paper in a different colour and I had a pile of writing paper, I never wrote any letters, I just had loads and loads of writing paper in different colours. It was the 80s, early 80s. 44.99. Gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, now, I've got a bundle here, so we've got, <laughs> we've got the 10-inch charm pack and, look at this, 
I'm not going to open it because it's the same colours, but aren't they? <gasps> you see, I don't think I'd be able to open that because I just want to keep it like that. So we're going to do a deal. So if you bought this and this together yesterday, yeah, if you bought this t yesterday or after midnight tonight, you will pay £89.98. If you buy it before midnight tonight, however, it's a Haley special. Stuart says, morning from a wet and grim Suffolk. Oh, no. It's not wet. What's it doing here, Charlie? Oh, it's cloudy here. Oh, it's no, not raining. Go then. £13.50 coming off that price tag. £76.48. You get both. You get both for £76.48. So that makes them what? 35, 36, 37, 38, 24 each. It's what comes of working on a fruit and vegetable all the start of your life. £76.48 for both. Only till midnight tonight. Though. It's called, why is it called the mythical pre-cut? They're not called mythicals, are they? Are they? Maybe they are. Designer sol Oh, mythical, yeah. I've only known them as designer solids. Yeah, they're called mythical. Love the colours. Now, if you've got any tulip pink fabric, this is going to go with it because she uses the same pure colours all the time. Lovely. Yeah, if you go with it, it'll go with any of her collections. Any of her collections it will go with. Beautiful. Lulu says it's wet and grim in Essex. Oh, dear. What happened to summer? Gorgeous. Keep going through. That's today's special. Only till midnight tonight. Just put those over there for Becky. Right, next. Uh, hang on. Nocturnal. Oh, yeah, there it is. I thought these were the same thing. There you go. This one's by Gingy Bar. Gingy Burr. Now. Stuart made a whole quilt out of this. We haven't got a picture, though, sadly. Yeah, <laughs> where are you going to put them? Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, but it also means if the storage space is upstairs, there's no lift, is there? That's the problem. Beautiful. Look at these. I remember this. I remember making this, actually. It was on a show with me. It was very contemporary. Made a very, very contemporary-looking quilt out of it. It's very Scandinavian, isn't it, this? 47 is how much this costs. Oh! Oh! For, just for today. Little treat for today. I panned off. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it, that one? £42.99, £42.99, you're getting 42 pieces, they're all 10 inch squares. You can make so much out of this if you think about how much your fabric you're getting here. And all, you get a taster of the whole range, look, oh hang on, I'll miss one out. Oh, come on. There. Very gothic, isn't it, that one? Beautiful. Oh, look at the colours in that one. Oh, Stuart peaked a couple of weeks ago. Got any shorts out? Oh, no, I haven't even got my shorts out yet. You, yeah, you can do loads of the 10 inch jumper. Apps, look at that one. Loads and loads and loads of the 10 inch jumper. Look at the owls. I will eat, you'll find that each 10 inch charm pack is different, like you only got one of those in this one, but you might find that you get two of them in yours. So it's a, a selection of all the different collections, whether you get one or two of each. See, so you only got one of that one as well, but then you get two of some of them, he says. Now, there you go, so you get two of that one, but it's random. You might not get two of that one. Yeah, beautiful, aren't they? Saving five pounds today until midnight. Then that's it. Goes back up. Yeah, put it with some navy and some white. It's going to look lovely. In fact, didn't Stuart, I think Stuart used navy and white as his sashing on it when he made the quilt. Oh, he did. That's why she said it. Beautiful. 
Dan Morris design. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love this. Ambiance, you mean? Yeah. Not going to open this one. Or am I? We sh oh, I tell you what. Uh, go to the overhead first. It's beautiful, this. Now, Stuart made a quilt out of this. Was it the bag he made out of that one? No, he made the bag out of the gingery one, didn't he? I think he made a quilt out of the, the, char the squares of this one. It's beautiful. Imagine and create. Okay. I love opening jelly rolls, design rolls. Look at these glorious fabrics. This is where we need to, we haven't got any of our um, little uh, vacuum cleaners in stock at the moment. We need one, because whenever you open one of these, the dust goes everywhere. Beautiful, look at these. So they're two and a half inch strips, width of fabric, so 44 inches wide. How glorious are these colors? Oh, and it's not 49.99 today. It should be, so should be. Oh, beautiful. Five pounds off, 44.99. We, I, I forget to look up because we don't have crash noises, do we? And I, when we crash, I'm expecting a noise. Yeah. And when I first started working at Roxcoe, we had camera five and we had just one person on camera five. And every time we did a crash, they'd run across, it was on a jib and they'd run across the edge. That was when we were in London, back in London. Look at these. Aren't they exquisite? Look at them. Like stained glass windows. Oh, beautiful. Such gorgeous fabric. Now, you could make Amanda Little's um, Holby City one out of this, couldn't you? What was it called? Concentric squares and oscillating lines. Be beautiful, wouldn't they? Apparently there was a lot of people upset when I, I texted Hannah, but she never replied. It was the last edition of, uh, last edition, uh, what's it called? Episode of um, Holby City, wasn't it? All these people were putting them on uh, pictures on Twitter, crying, right? So I texted Hannah going, you're right, you're right after Holby City shut down. Not a word. She never, she never replies anymore. The day it happened, when it was on last week, week the week before last, whenever it was on, nothing. She never replies any, ever anymore, no. Beautiful. I haven't finished yet. Now we can do the five of five spray. Keep going through, there are a couple of those. Let's just clear that. Right, five of five spray, what do we need this for? Well, when you're making your quilt sandwich, when you want to put fabric to fabric, uh, this is your repositional uh, five of five fabric to fabric spray. It's $7.99, uh, especially when you're making your quilt sandwich. We can't get enough of this. We get it in, it sells. We get it in, it sells. We should try getting the bigger... You can buy them in bigger cans. Oh, I'll shut up then. Yeah, designer did... It was in the old studio, wasn't it? Left those behind in the old studio. Yeah? Um, 20 of these, that's all I've got at 7 99 And we don't know when we'll get the next batch in. We're, they're already ordered. Barry, the book buyer, the bald beautiful blushing book buyer he'll be watching at home he'll be sitting there blushing he goes a funny color doesn't he no that's one of the things where i tease him all the time but just i don't mean it he's not he is bald he's not beautiful he is the book buyer he is he's what in his own way so he's got one of those faces you know uh, Lo wants to know where the sun's gone. Oh, is it raining where you are as well then? In Dainton, Bainton, wherever it is you live. Can't remember where you live now. You've had your summer now. I had my new garden furniture out for a day. 7 99 and I've got my Tibetan prayer flags up now. They will be all gone in the wind last night, I'm sure. 80-20 by the half metre wadding. This is gorgeous, beautiful. This sells out, we get it back in. It sells out, we get it back in. I'm just gonna put that in there, so. The only wadding we offer, where you can buy it by the half meter. It's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. It's got a lovely loft to it. It's a very soft blend. Look how wide it is, 244 centimeters. That's 97 inches wide. 
at 6 99 And this is where you buy it off the bolt. You won't get pieces of half a metre. So if you want a piece that's one and a half metres long, you can have a piece that's one and a half metres long. You get what? Gorgeous, got a lovely loft to it. This is one all our designers use. Oh, it would be nice if the camera could focus. There you go. It's gorgeous and soft, lovely to quilt with as well. And then you use your 505 spray, spray on that, put your fabric on, and it repos you can reposition it till you get it lovely and flat. And it's only 6 99 half a metre. That way, you know when we, we normally, like most people sell it, like crib, single, twin, Queen, King, all those Super King and all that. And you waste a bit of it. This way you're not going to waste it, are you? Because you buy exactly the amount you need. So if your quilt is like a metre, well, if it's just less than a metre and a half long, you buy a metre and a half so it's a bit bigger. And then you haven't got any waste whatsoever. Oh, have I got what? Yeah, yes I have. Paris, I say in Paris. I know, I did this. Right, okay, the, the story of this, right, is we got this in as a special, I can't remember what it was for, what week it was for, but we got in as a special early bird, right, to be the early bird price that day. Everyone that's played it since, which has only been a couple of times, right, they've gone, oh, well, you took it this much last time, we'll do it again. It's supposed to be an early bird special, but we're going to do it again. And it goes to a brilliant price. This is beautiful. Now, there's not many of these left now. 42 10 inch squares. Christopher Thompson, Saturday in Paris. This was the hour I did the whole hour in French. Do you remember? La Bicyclette. Oh, no, where's it gone? Yeah, oh, that we because we had just more than just this. We had like the, all the whole collection, didn't we? Yeah, Le Chien. Le Tastete. Le, oh, I can never remember that. What's the big piece of bread called? Baguette. La Baguette. Thank you, Charlie. Charlie lived in Paris for a week. He went to Paris Fashion Show. He's very travelled for a youngster. We're going to take £10 off, £39.99. Marie says, good morning, lovely boy. It's pouring with rain in Islington and blowing a gale. I'll stay in. And try to turn a pig's ear I made yesterday into a quilt. Oh, Marie, did you make a mess of it? Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, I could be his granddad. Thank you. Haley's going. Oh, I could be. She could be Charlie's mum. I could be his granddad. Don't. We haven't worked together for twenty years. <gasps> Hayley's been in shopping TV for 20 years. Yeah, you worked at Gemso before you worked with me, didn't you? Yeah, I tell you what, there's one, per there's one person I always say to the youngsters, don't be like, I won't say his name, this person, because he's bitter and twisted, and he's still in shopping telly, right? Because he's old, because it's a young, young person's game, really. And then you at the end of your career, it's all right to come back at the end of your career on your way down, which is my excuse for being there, you know? Yeah. No. Oh, no, I hadn't even thought of him. No, good friend of his, though. Beautiful. Look at these. Gorgeous. £10 saving today. Look, isn't it lovely? Hang on, I'm coming to some dark, mysterious ones coming up here. Look, watch. That's beautiful. With it. I, you know me, I love a dark background. Yeah. Yeah, Lulu, Lulu, that, that was the spray that you put between wadding and backing. Yeah, and it's repositional. That's the one you want. The 505 spray, yeah. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? 25 centimetres. Uh, no, it's, no, not quite. No, it isn't. It's a bit more than a quarter of a fat quarter. Yeah, because a fat quarter is 18 inch. Oh, it depends which one you do. Yeah, half a metre. Yeah, it's half a metre if it's English, European. But if it's an American one, then it's slightly smaller. But yeah, so it's half of a, a quarter of a fat qu No, hang on. It's a quarter of a fat quarter. Is that right? 
Yeah, let's move on. It's, get, it's just getting complicated. I'm showing you the, more the dramatics. Beautiful, isn't it, right? Now, move it. Uh, that goes with that. That goes with that. You all right with all this on here? Oh, she's just nodding. Um, this is beautiful. Now, I love... Look, Charlie, bit of paisley there. Charlie likes a paisley. In his heritage, you see. That's not just plain. That's got... That's like grunge. Then you've got your floral. Lovely bit of paisley there. Colours are beautiful, aren't they? Then you've got more flowers. God, the hour's flown by, isn't it? Uh, well, some call it fun. Beautiful. I'm going fast now because I'm running out of time, but look. Imagine all of these fabrics together. Love that one. Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. Oh, 47.99? No. Uh, Hayley's really treating you today. These are going to go today at 42.99. You might never see these again. Oh, lot of noise. Who's that? Yeah. Oh, honestly. Oh, Ian's done a Starbucks run for everybody. Isn't that lovely? Forty two ninety nine. It's not a dress, Ian, it's a skirt. Forty-two ninety-nine. Keep going through. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We've made it a couple of times. Needle cord. There's a rust needle cord version. Oh, it's Roy. It's not Roy. It's not Roy. He says. Ryan. I know, but I think Roy suits you better. Okay. All right then. Thank you, <laughs> Brian slash Roy. That's lovely, Brian Roy from the, from the, um, Rob Roy, he could be Rob Roy, couldn't he? Anyway, let's move on. Keep confirming that's going to sell out today, that's going to sell out today. Remember the price goes back up at midnight. Anna Maria, who loves all my Instagram pictures these days. She'll come over for, in August for Festival of Quilts. Be nice to see, I'll, me I'll message her later and ask her. Ian's got a what? Ian's oh. uh, forty-four ninety-nine. Anna Maria Horner. Look at these, aren't they beautiful? Uh, breakfast bowls. No, that's what it's called. Yeah. Social climber. I love all these. Beautiful look. Migration. Beautiful, beautiful. No, you can't go lower on this one. It's already 4499. You can't get any lower. Oh, love it. Go on then. Hayley special. The eyes have it. Dot the eyes. There's no sense to this whatsoever at 39.99. Honestly, Hayley, she won't be let in again, will she? Yeah. Yeah, you've got a feature print and everyone with her, yeah. Get a lovely plane to go with it. The colour she uses is lovely. And sometimes she mixes colour. But you know, all of these, these are all from her pencil drawings. She sits wherever she travels in the world or if she's in her back garden. She does pencil drawings of flowers. Her latest one called Bouquet is she's kept a, a record of every bouquet she's ever had sent to her or received since she was tw in her 20s. Gorgeous. Oh. Lovely colours, aren't they? Stunning colours. And at 39.99. June. John, you've got a phenomenal memory for all these fabric names. I, well, yeah. But ask me what I did this morning. Oh. 
I I, all I remember waking up this morning is, oh, I can't wait to go to bed tonight. That's not the right attitude, is it, when you wake up in the morning? Also, who was on Radio 2 this morning? Vanessa Feltz obviously got a week off. There was some, I don't know who he was. I thought it was H from Steps to start with, then I realised it wasn't. It was called Olween, Olween something, something. It was Welsh. Anyway. Right, moving on. These nice. Is it this one here? Cat in a box, fat quarters. No. I haven't got any other fat quarters. No, I've not got that. I've got uh, Jill, Philly, Petals and Pedals. And then I've got this one. This one's a bit like posh hedgehogs, but it's cats, look. You get 16 fat quarters. Aren't they cute? Oh yeah, the cats are mine forever. Well, they have to be now. I've spent all that money on a cat flap. Because it's a cat flap in a window, you see. What? What was it done? Cost a fortune. Why have you not got a cat flap? Okay, but you, you, so are they, uh, just a quick word with Hayley now, so excuse us while, are they, do they open like this, or are they slidey ones? Okay, so what you have to do is you have to get the whole unit remade, and it arrives with a hole in it, and then they set the cat flap into it. The trouble is, Luther, in and out, in and out, in and out, ghost, knows that it's there, but goes to the other door and goes, why isn't this opening? Why is this opening? And it's so sweet because Luther comes along and opens the door, goes, here, it's this one, it's this one. And then Ghost goes, oh, yeah, 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 got it now. But it, it, the amount of times I hear him going like this, it's not opening, it's not opening. You're like, you're on the wrong door, Ghost. 59.99 these are. One, how many other in total? 16 in there. 16 you've got there. Oh, not staying at 59. This will be my last one of the hour. Oh, that's a funny price. Forty-six pounds and forty pence. We're going to forty-six forty. Oh, it's this, Haley. Isn't it, Stuart? In your pants. He's got what? We're going to do it. Uh, no, Stuart, we're going to make a fortune. They want us to do a, a fitness DVD. Yeah, I can see it working. Yeah, you worked that out, Hayley. Look. How much? £2.90 a fat quarter. And how cute is that? Cat in a box. That's a bit like... That's a bit like um, Joe Carter's FPP project, isn't it? Maybe we should bring that. Oh, this is what, now I bought my cats before they were allowed to go out. They had pots of um, grass to eat in the house. It's their meat in it. My cats aren't orange, though. Stuart said, DVD, get with the times, stream live surely. Oh, I don't know what that means. Was it the weatherman that drums on the radio? Oh, I don't know. Was it the Welsh weatherman who does the drumming? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Lowe wants us both in Lycra. I don't think that'll happen. Stuart does it in his pants anyway. Beautiful. I've done what? Okay, right. Stuart's coming up in the next hour to do this, right? 122 have gone already. We've not even shown it to you apart from flash it like that. Showing you Charlie's pictures. We're not going to have enough of those. It's on pre-order. Make sure you get yours now. Right, we're going to a break now. Stuart's up after the break. Oh, he's doing his dancing. Oh, I say. Oh, is that what we have to do? Oh, it's much more vigorous than I thought. I'll see you with Stuart here in four minutes from now. Stop it. Right. It is time to reveal our five Search for a Star sewing finalists. Earlier on in the year, we asked you, our viewers, to apply to be our next 
Sewing Street Sewing Star and we were overwhelmed with the amount of applicants. We have watched hours of audition videos and we have somehow managed to narrow it down to our chosen five finalists. Our five very talented finalists will be on your screen next week from Monday the 4th of April to Friday the 8th of April and we've dedicated an hour each day to each contestant to do their demonstrations. We're handing over the choice of the winner to you. So on the Friday after everybody's done their live demonstrations, the voting will be open. Join us all next week to help us choose our Sewing Street Sewing Star. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. How gorgeous is this? How fantastic is this? We've got the designer and inspiration here with us. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> designer and inspiration. <laughs> um, I've got to say, I've got to say, you look fantastic. Oh, thank you, I said you, when John. you first came in, so so I tuned you. in yesterday and I was like, they've got special cameras on, Stu, at least suddenly much, much thinner. And Aww. then you walked in this morning, it's like, oh, you have lost weight then. I have, I have. I've lost about a stone so far. So, which isn't a huge amount of it's weight, massive. but it makes a difference, doesn't it? I know, and it's made such a difference to me as well. I feel more limber and more lively. And, and you know what? I'm all I'm doing is cutting out puddings, cheese and biscuits, nibbles, all the extra bits. Yeah, all the fun you know? in life. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? No, I'm still having fun. I'm still having a little glass of wine. Oh yes. And um, you know, but but just things like. 
I don't know, Charlie and I had got into quite bad habits right. with always having cheese and biscuits in the evening or, you know, a few So have you chocolates. made him do the, the same oh, no, routine? I'm, I'm, uh, no, I never made him. Because he's a fine figure of a man. He is a fine figure of a man. But, you know, we were both getting a, that little bit of spread. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Charlie's doing a lot of hard work on the farm, yeah. which is helping to tone him up beautifully. Um, but, uh, you know... It's, it's doing me good. It's doing him good too, yeah, actually, as well. And it's wonderful. Just going to show those, isn't it? Like I, during lockdown, I really went into coffee and cakes thinking, well, oh, it'll only be a few weeks and I'll get back on to healthy oh, exactly. eating again. Here we are two, over two years later. I'm still doing the coffee and the cakes and not doing it. I've been to the gym for years, so really got to start. Anyway, well, Stuart, this is gorgeous. Who needs the gym when you've got working out with John Scott and Stuart Hill, are Exactly, but no lycra. When Lo wants us to wear Lycra, and I said, that's oh, going a bit too far. We've probably gone past our sell-by date for Lycra, Well, we? I definitely would look like a sausage <laughs> that had split its, you know, um, anyway. Look at this, though. Isn't this gorgeous? Uh, total, and remember, these are flying out already. Absolutely flying already. Double-sided. Beautiful. There's pockets. There's lining. There's everything. Um, just gorgeous. Beautiful. And uh, well, like there's something in the bottom of the bag, then. Exclusive to Sewing Street, absolutely exclusive to Sewing Street. And that's been gorgeous. It comes on a panel. Now, you know our normal panels cost $19.99. They're big, they're sturdy, they're, they're really, really good value for money, right? Wait till you say, see the size of this panel, right? <laughs> it's a mega panel. It's isn't like it? a double fitted sheet, this. Yeah. <laughs> Look, watch. even I was surprised. Yes. <laughs> Me and right now, the instructions are on the panel. Look at that, yeah. look at how big. Do you want to move over, come this way oh, a bit sorry, so we can get yeah. you in it. There you go, there you go. So you get the front, the back, well everything you need basically. You do, it's a really big panel because you've got those massive outer pockets. If it was just a front and a back, you know, just a tote bag, then yeah. it wouldn't need to be this big. But you've got the gorgeous sewing bee sewing machine on the front, you've got the beehive um, sewing caddy on the back, you've got your, your um, what are all these back, here front then? And back. So then you've got down here, you've got this sort of faux patchwork, the hexagons, that's to make shoulder straps. Right. And I'm going to show a few hacks with the shoulder okay, straps. Okay, brilliant. But that's the shoulder straps and the lining shoulder straps as well. Right. You've got some tabs if you want to add rings, rectangular oh, okay. rings yeah, 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 yeah. to extend the strap. You've got key fobs. Oh my you've word. You've got extra po a pocket. I'm going to show you a hack with that as well. Brilliant. And then all the instructions you need. Well, you see, so normally, the instruction would be 9.99 on top of the 19.99 wouldn't they yeah it's not now you see if I, now what you should have done is put, put this up because you get the instructions yeah you know what I mean? like maybe no. not 9.99 no but, but I, I, I i'm all about encouraging people to enjoy sewing and to you know enjoy making and try something different so there are some little skill builders within the pattern and if you've never made a bag before it's absolutely accessible if you've made lots of bags before it's a really fun make and a gorgeous bag now there is a queue on the phone line so please bear with us of course to be with you at the moment we'll let you know when stocks we've got hundreds of these we're absolutely fine at the moment but we sold 122 before we'd even shown it really do i need before we do anything what else will I need to buy to make this? Well, um, you're going to interface the outer pockets, and that's what I'm just doing now. Right, so that's so, your interfacing. That's iron-on in, uh, iron on interfacing. Iron-on interfacing, yep. And you're going to need about half a metre for the front and back pockets, and then you're going to need some more for the shoulder straps. So a metre pack is ideal. A Perfect. Metre. That's a metre. That's a metre square, that one. That's a metre square, that one. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Right, perfect. That's three ninety nine. Well, that's a good price. I need to buy some of those. Well, yeah, I was going to say get a couple. Then you've always got enough to do it. If yeah. Because the thing is, I know I shouldn't really say this, but but you've already got the pattern there. So before you start sewing it all together, yeah, draw around it. Oh gosh, yeah. Of course, why not? I mean, you're actually going to use the panel to cut your lining. Yeah. So you're going to use that as your pattern piece. Oh, well, there you go. So yeah, while you're doing it, stick a bit of dressmaker's tissue underneath yeah. and cut out your pattern. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm not trying to put him out of money, I promise, but you know what I mean. 
Uh, so I get a couple of those, get a couple of those. Th then, do you need some H640 next? Yeah. So you need some padding. That's for the main bag, front and back. Yeah. Now, I've recommended H640, half a metre. Now, I'm just going to say, when you come to cut out, it is tight, <laughs> like me. Okay. <laughs> Literally, fold the H640 in half, put the front and back panel on top of it, and you'll literally trim the sides and cut through the fold at the bottom, oh, more or okay. less, that's it. It does not matter if the H640 is like a quarter inch, even right. a half inch inside the line. Right, Fine. okay, I need to explain something to you. I was sitting here wondering why I've got two bundles of H640. We've got it by the half meter, Five ninety nine. So if, right, if, don't buy that yet. Don't buy that yet. Don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet. Right. So you can buy a half meter for five ninety nine. Right. That's all you need if you're making one bag. Right. If you're making one bag, five ninety nine. However, if you are going to cut the pattern out, you'll need a meter. Look at this. Right. It, or you know, because you'll you'll use eight six forty for so many different projects. Right. So even if you use half meter for the bag, you want half a meter left. Look. Right. Look at the price. Nine ninety nine. So it's more be better value for money because it should be twelve pounds, shouldn't it? Eleven ninety eight is what this should be. Mm. Well, if that was five, what was that? Yeah. Yeah. So two five ninety nines are twelve pounds, aren't they? Eleven pound ninety eight. You're getting a meter of it for nine ninety nine. So that's four fifty. No, five pounds. Five pounds at half meter. If everybody who buys the panel wants a meter, we haven't got enough of those. They're already cut, they're already cut. We can't cut them on bulk for you, they're already cut. I'd Nine, also say, nine. John, yes. you know, if you're gonna make any extras, so for example, I'm gonna show you how to make a little pouch using the pocket piece um, to make a pouch for your rotary cutter. Yeah. You'd need extra H640 oh, they for that. But also, if you had a little, I mean, I always want it in stock. Yeah, <laughs> you always want it in stock. And this way it's more affordable, isn't it? At 9.99 for a whole meter, it's already cut but you're saving that money. You're saving two pounds, actually. Saving two pounds. Right, okay. Is that all I need to show for now? Let's do a bit of sewing then, before we get on with anything else. Oh, lovely. We're gonna so get it's over already. to you. Smashing. So what I'm doing now, I'm just preparing the outer pocket. So what you're gonna do, my tip is rough cut the outer pockets, first of all. Right. Add on about an eighth of an inch, all the way around, just leave that sort of white fabric. Right, hang on a minute then. So, oh, sorry, no, ignore okay. me. I thought it saw a different color. There you go. So here's my, here's one of my outer pockets. This right. is the one that features that gorgeous beehive sewing caddy. You can buy these, you know, yeah. they're adorable. Yeah. And, um, and then you've got your little beehive pin cushion and sewing accoutrement. I also wanted to color this for the Jubilee. Oh, yes. I wanted it to have a red, white, and blue look as well. Without it being... Flag waving yes, and yes, crowns yes, yeah, yeah, and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, and our queen bee, of course. I thought there was some nice little nods there. Yeah. Um, so what you want to do, once you've rough cut that, is layer that with some fusible interfacing and your backing fabric. I'm using hot tomato. Which I've got here. Yeah. It's a so yeah, this doesn't match. come on the panel, does it? The no, lining. your you lining's the... separate. How you... much do I need? A metre. A metre. So that's two units you'll need of this. You'll need two units of that for your lining. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hot tomato, that one's yeah. called. Perfect colour. Okay, I've got a purple option as well, but I'll just show you this one first. Uh, we're going to see that, child. We're going to see it there. Okay. Okay, that's your hot tomato. We've also got it in a lavender. Do you want just two units to make a metre? Oh, amethyst, this one is amethyst. That's my birthstone. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Gorgeous. 379. Right, I'll shut up now. Okay, so then when you've layered those things up, those three layers, then rotary cut properly on the line. And then you're cutting interfacing and lining fabric all in one go. And that's also, you're going to use these pieces for your pocket pieces, your um, pattern pieces rather. Now you need obviously two lining and also two interfacing. Yeah. So you could cut all those out in one go and then the other pocket front just cut out for real. Yeah, then definitely. you pin all the layers together. If you were using a patterned fabric for your lining, then that would be right side on the outside. But I'm just gonna put it out there. You're never actually gonna see this lining. So if you wanted to save a bit of your hot tomato oh, yes. and just use a bit of calico for that, you could. 
Now what I'm doing is I'm just running this through my sewing machine and I'm basting those layers together just across the top, down the sides and across the bottom. I'm using a walking foot. Only reason why I'm using a walking foot actually is because it was already on the machine and I am too bone idle <laughs> to pick up a screwdriver. <laughs> No, I'm not really. The walking foot's absolutely fine for this. Absolutely. Right. Uh, we're like that, says Lo. When we stop growing up, we grow out. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Anne says she lost two and a half stone last year with healthy eating, cutting out evening snacks, and she feels so much better for it. Well oh, done, awesome. Stuart. Well done, you. Now, June, this is a question a lot of people ask. How long have you two been friends because you have such good banter? Oh, bless. Well, we never met. We had never met until we worked together one day, and that's only a couple Here. months ago. At Sewing Street, exactly. At yeah. Sewing Street, it was a first, we'd, we'd, we'd kind of crossed paths, as in, we were at a, a sewing, oh, like a sewing for pleasure or so something like that. Life. And we were walking towards each other, like, to speak to each other, and Debbie Shaw came zooming in between yeah. the two of us, linked my arm, going, John, there's somebody I want you to meet, and I'm like, um, anyway, so I didn't meet him, so the first, so we've only known, so when was your, when was that first show? It was just a few months, months. Just a few just, months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Kindred but spirits, we that's are what it is. kindred spirits. Now, the next thing I want to show you, you've got four strips that have a lovely kind of linen look. They're sort of a gorgeous honey gold. These are your binding strips for your pockets. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to do the binding, you don't have to do the binding. What you would do then is interfacing on the back of the pocket, lining on the front, right sides together, sew your curves clip them and then turn it through. But they're already cut on the bias those for you, aren't they? They are, and it's a really lovely touch. It's an extra bit of gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. So cut that out, right sides together, and we're gonna press this. So I've got my iron all ready. It's all cotton, of course, so three spot iron is perfect. Bit of steam as well. So there we go. So this is gonna make double fold binding for my pockets. Right. Okay, so that's done. And as you say, those bits are printed on the bias. So they're naturally stretchy. You don't have to do anything clever or difficult. So you're gonna put this on like you do when you bind a quilt then? Exactly Not like right. dressmaking bias binding. Right, exactly right. I'm gonna do it like a quilt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna machine sew this. So this might be something that you wanna consider doing on some of your quilts, wall hangings. I'm gonna actually bind on the back, on the wrong side first. Right. And then I'm gonna top stitch on the oh, front. Oh, okay. Okay, so I've just trimmed one end level and I'm going to, I'm only gonna use one pin here and I'm gonna bob that pin in there at the start. And what I'm gonna do now is take this to my sewing machine, a quarter of an inch seam, and I'm actually gonna go scant on that quarter of an oh. inch seam. Now the way to do that, I've got the walking foot on, is I'm going to use the stitch width adjustment to move my needle as far over to the right as I can. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew, oh wait a minute, I've got it on the wrong stitch. Oh. I knew I'd done something wrong. I've got a triple reinforcing Oh, no, stitch. you don't want that. Oh, you don't want that, John. Right, let me just do that again. Right, so I've got my needle moved right over. I'm going to start again. What it will mean is that the start of my bias binding will be really secure. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to sew a few stitches, and then I'm just going to keep easing that binding up to the edge of my fabric. So I'm not having to put a gazillion pins in here to hold it in place. I was fine when you put pins in on a bias binding anyway, it moves anyway. Do you know what yeah. I mean? They're, they're more of a hindrance than a help anyway, yeah, aren't they? That's right. If you take your time, just take a couple of stitches and then finish with the needle in the down position, you shouldn't have any problems here. So I'm just binding all the way around. Now, if you prefer to do that kind of single fold bias, like you would in dressmaking, uh -huh. then you've more than enough fabric in that strip to do it. Yeah. And also look, extras, don't throw that away. I've taken that piece that mm -hmm. was left over, I've opened it back out and I've folded the raw edges into the center and pressed, fold it in half again and then top stitch twice. I'm gonna use this as either a loop closure for the bag, uh -huh. or I'm gonna use it for my rotary cutter case. Or belt hoops on your next pair of trousers. Oh, that I'll need to pull up yeah, because, because, because you've lost so down. much weight, yeah, exactly. Yes. Next step, okay, I'm going to run my nail around the back just to pre-crease it, okay? So it's going the right way. 
and then I'm going to pull it round to the front. Now I just want you to see that when you pull that round to the front, it should just cover your row of stitching. Okay, line of stitching. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do then, we're going to go back to the sewing machine and we're going to machine sew this. Now, rather than sewing in the ditch, if I sew in the ditch, I'm not attaching anything. No. I've got to sew as close to the edge of that binding as I can. And let's hope I can make a neat job of it, John, eh? Well, let's hope so. Sure, you know. No. Say a, say a silent prayer for me. Madonna. <laughs> oh, I've got some messages in you the box. Any. Uh, morning, lovely boys. Slimline Stewart, you're looking good. Oh. All right, Julie, you're blocked. Well done on the new figure. <laughs> Tote bag's gorgeous. A TARDIS of a bag. Lots of love from Jules in Buckinghamshire. Ah, oh, thank you, oh. Jules. That's lovely. It is really big and roomy. Yeah. It's really big and roomy. <laughs> and Vanessa's morning, my two favourite presenters. Oh, I don't know what she's watching. You both look fabulous. Looking forward to the demo. Love, Vanessa. Thank oh. you, Vanessa. And then, oh, another one quickly. Uh, John and Stuart, my two favourite boys on a Monday morning. Can't wait for exercise classes from out in Yorkshire. <laughs> well, neither can we. Uh, and uh, Sandy says the bag panel is absolutely stunning, Stuart. Oh, and thank you. Claire says, could you do a fancy stitch over the binding? Of course you could. Serpentine stitch or something like that. So I went slightly wayward at the top, but that should be covered well, in my seam allowance. Of your life, that, isn't it? Exactly. I went wayward at the start and then I straightened out my act. Did you? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so what you're going to do then is do that on both sides. And we get a nice little neat finish on the back. We're all set, okay? Not difficult to do. Yeah. So you're going to bind both sides, okay? Then you're going to take your bag back or bag front. You've got your um, fabric, mm -hmm. okay? Seam allowances are included, John. Brilliant. Don't need to add anything on. Um, you've already got your little cutouts at the bottom for your boxed corners. And what you're going to do then is lay it again, rough cut it, lay it on top of your H640, mm -hmm. give it a little iron, maybe, or not, and then cut it out. You can rotary cut or scissor cut. Right. And then you want to fuse those layers together. Now, when you're fusing, little tip here, when you're fusing to something like H640 or in our form, Bosel in our form, you want to start in the centre and be really gentle mm -hmm. because it's ever so easy to start pushing the fabric along and next thing you know there's a big gap down one end. Two questions, how hot's your iron? My iron's still on a cotton setting, yep. so I've set the iron to the fabric. And you've um, got steam on as I've well. I've got some steam as well. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, I'm just trying to gently activate the glue. Right. Just mm -hmm. enough that it holds in place. So at the moment, this is really just about placement. And I'm working from the centre out because I want everything to be precise. What we don't want to have to do at the end is start trimming bits of H640 away or bits of fabric away because they've drifted. Yeah. So if you just take your time here, you'll have no bother at all. And once you're sure everything's in place, you can then go in and then we want sort of eight to ten seconds of continual heat right. to actually fuse it properly. So once that's done, next job is line up your pocket front uh -huh. with your back. Okay, so they go all the way to the bottom. All right. If you want to, you can sew a line of stitching from point to point. Okay. If you're concerned about anything going in your pocket and then drifting oh, underneath. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. don't do that because there's nothing I'm going to put in there that's so small it could, you know, apart from possibly a Murray mint. Um, <laughs> Other mints are available. They are. They are. But, but not really, why would you? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so once you do that, what you need to do is pin this in place. Right. And again, I like pins. Oh, not like that. I not that one, you I tell don't. you what, I don't like pins like that. <laughs> and do you know, I nearly did that thing that every sewer does, which is to put the bent pin back in the pot. But instead of doing that, I'm going to put that in a piece of interfacing and I'm going to get rid of it. No one else will ever have to use that pin. No, exactly. So pin your layers together. And then exactly as you did when you were basting these layers together, based across here, base down the sides and the bottom and the other side. It's in the bin. Gosh, it really is, isn't it? I heard that from over here. At that point, John, if you want to divide your pocket up into two, you can. Oh. I know, I know what you're gonna say. It divides up that image, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. If you used monofilament, 
Right. The only one I recommend is YLI monofilament. Okay. That's the one I've used for decades and always been successful with. You could mark a line and then, but I'm not going to do that. I no. think it's much better to have a really big roomy pocket. Yeah. You can get both hands in. Yeah. Have a really good rummage. Where is that Murray Mint? A whole bag of Murray Mint you get in there. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. I do love a good pocket. And so you'll do that for the front and the back. From then, I'm just going to describe the, the process. What you'll do is you are going to attach your, your straps before you make it up. Right. But it's a simple job of side seams, base seams, push the corners out and stitch across. And uh, we've done one a bit simple like this bag. before, haven't we? What day, can you remember the date of it, Hayley? What's the date of the, the rainbow tote bag? Yeah. Yeah, the original rainbow. So if people rainbow. want tips of how to put the whole bag together, we'll yeah. have a look it up. We'll look it up. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Do you want to show hacks and things? I'm going to show a few it? hacks now. So the next thing I wanted to show you was making the shoulder strap. Right. Okay, so on the pattern, you're going to have a wide, flat shoulder strap. Right. On the bag that you've got there, I've actually hacked that. And what right. I've done is I've turned it into a narrower shoulder strap with sort of wide inserts. Whoa. What happened right. then? Something happened then. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did your hey, talk no. back go, go really, really loud? No. Oh. Okay. So on, on, um, on uh, the pattern. <laughs> no, no, not you. No, no. On the pattern, you've just put a wide strap going round like That's that. That's right. So if you want wide, comfy shoulder straps, yeah. you absolutely can. Just follow the pattern as is. Yeah. They're a two and a half inch wide cut, so they're a two inch finished right. shoulder strap, which is nice and wide, and, and some people find that much more comfy. But um, I think narrower ones perhaps look a little more stylish, yeah. and you may prefer them. So I'm just going to show you how we do that. They've still got the strength, haven't they? Because still, you're still making oh, a wide strap, but just... For uh, sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So I've just applied some medium weight interfacing to the back. Isn't this cool fabric? Lovely. <laughs> Look, here's the pocket that goes inside. You get a patchwork pocket. Gorgeous. Um, so I've ironed my interfacing to that. I've got a piece of hot tomato. Mm -hmm. Hot. Hot. <laughs> I love, love, I'm obsessed with Ina Garten, the Barefoot Contessa. Do you ever watch her? No. Oh, you must, John. What is it? You must. So she's an American, um, well, she's not a chef, actually. She had a deli. Right. And she's just fabulous. And um, now she does cookery shows. They're just terrific. Absolutely terrific. Now then, um, and she always says, how easy was that? Oh, and what's she called? Ina Garten, I-N-A. Right. And there are loads of drag queens that do her okay, as well. Then. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop some pins in down the middle. Don't mind us, we're just having a chat. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to now run this through my sewing machine. So I want to sew the long sides. Yeah. And also one of the short sides. Okay. Quarter of an inch seam allowance. Please. Lovely. While you're doing that, I'll just remind you the panel is absolutely flying out. Okay, what now? This is going to sound big, right? Once you've all checked out, there's 100 left. However, that means over 400 have gone. Do you know what I mean? So that's how quickly it's going. We're not even, what, 26 minutes into the hour. Do you know what I mean? So this is the size of the panel. It's enormous. You weren't here at the beginning. This is the oh, sideways. This is your panel, right? This is your panel here. Then you've got your instructions on the bottom with all your bits and bobs that you need, tabs and key fobs and everything there. All of that for 19.99. Exclusive to us, you can't get it anywhere else. Can't not get it anywhere else. Printed up specially for us. 16th of October, if you want to watch the bag demo the first time round, full on bag demo, 16th of October. Not this, it's not this one, this is new today. He's still not finished. I'm sewing as fast as I can. That's actually the, the title of my new talk. Uh, what is this? Sewing groups. I'm sewing as fast as I can. Oh, yeah. I remember watching a film many, many years ago called "I'm called I'm Dancing as Fast as I Can," and I thought it was a, such a fabulous um, title. I always meant to use it. Now I need a turning tool. And where is it? I don't know. In They're the green, here. in the They're green here. thingy. Here. I don't know if all the bits in there. Well, we'll give it a go. No. I'm, I'm more than happy actually just with a chopstick. Okay. I've usually got a chopstick with me because. 
Because you've been eating. I it. eat a lot of takeaway. No, I don't <laughs> actually, John. I don't actually. That's the old Stuart. That's someone I don't even recognise anymore. Mm. I don't even know who that man was. <laughs> Okay, right. right, so even if your pattern calls for open-ended, an open-ended strap, I always add on, and this is an open-ended strap, I add on a little bit, yeah, and then um, sew across the bottom so that I can use this method yeah. just to push everything through, okay. Yeah, because we get the prim, we have the prim turny tooling thing and we get thousands of them in and they all sell out and then it takes ages for it to get back in it's again. It's true, it's true, it's really difficult. Now, whether you shoulder strap, it really truly is worth spending a bit of time massaging your shoulder strap, okay? Because there's nothing worse than twisted, puckered, <sighs> You know, kind of undulating what should be a straight shoulder strap or seeing the lining poking round or anything like yeah. that now little tip here little hack that I'm just going to describe if you want to have a shoulder strap that's just a little wider that has a little edging right of the hot tomato instead of cutting this two and a half and this two and a half cut this two and a half and this three inches right. right sew the long seam on one side hutch them over because they're white one's wider than yeah, the yeah, other yeah, yeah. hutch it over line up the long side sew that and then just kind of squish one end together and sew across it right push your strap through chop that squished up end through and turn it through and what you'll end up with is a quarter of an inch of hot tomato oh so it looks like you put a flange on like it or something like well, that like almost like a faux yeah. bound edge yeah. looks really smart um, Sue says, I'm with you. I love Ina Garten. Now, is Ina a man or a lady? Ina. She's Ina. a lady. Oh, yes. he's, well, She's... Sue thinks it's a man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Derek says, I also love the Barefoot Contessa. Great cookery show. <laughs> yeah. Stuart's demos are always so thorough, says Carol. Maureen says, just what I need today. Inspiration to get me sewing. A big statement pocket bag. Lovely oh, demo, Stuart. She says, John and Stuart, you fabulous pair. <laughs> I love the Barefoot co Contessa too, but I love this bag as well. From oh, Teresa. thank you. She's so fabulous. She's she's so aspirational. She lives I'm in the Hamptons. And she'll say things like, I'm stirring this soup with a wooden spoon that I have hand whittled if you haven't got a hand whittled spoon storeboard is fine oh you know or I'm using I'm using cognac which is brandy from the cognac region of Amer of, of France if you haven't got cognac any good brandy will do <laughs> but it's just so sort of you know iconic that people play barefoot Contessa bingo oh so wow. every time she says Jeffrey's home for the weekend or something like that you uh, have to do something <laughs> anyway once once you've turned that through and pressed it, and look, look at the effect of a massage, John. Yeah. It's straightened it up no end. Good. I'm going to snip the closed end off, because I don't need that bulk in my seam allowance. Right, you have. All right, so this is the shoulder strap as is. And on your pattern, what you're going to do, if you're keeping the bag as, as is, all right, you're just going to attach this either side of the pocket. So this couldn't be easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. pin and pin, little machine based, eighth of an inch in, uh -huh. and then make up your bag. Side Lovely. seams, base seams, box the corners, line it, and jobs are good. But what I'm going to do, and of course make sure that right side, the patchwork side is down. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is create that thinner handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure three inches down from one raw edge, and I'm going to put a pin. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Three inches uh -huh. and pin. And then what I'm going to do is fold the whole shoulder strap in from pin to pin. John, you've never looked better. I uh, know. Somebody asked how long the strap was on the shoulder, so here you go. Loads of room under there. Loads of room. But, John, I've also included tabs and tab linings on the panel. If you want to. If you want to extend it. Yeah. So make those up, right sides together, sew the long seams, turn it through and press, top stitch. Attach your rectangular ring. Yeah. Okay, you'll need one with a two inch aperture. And then attach your shoulder strap, this end, through that and fold and press it. It'll add about, probably about three inches overall. So it'll, if you want it just Brilliant. a little lower. So I'm just folding this in 
Ouch, just managed to spike myself. Oh, be with careful. Pen. Becky Alexander Frost says good morning. Ah, oh, morning, Becky. Kurt says, I love the Barefoot Contest. I love that she makes meals for her husband, Jeffrey. Yes. And he's always surprised that they taste good. Always. And they've been married forever. And Aww. he's so devoted. But he teaches at Harvard in the week. Okay. And then he drives home for the weekend. And Aww. on a Friday night, she always makes him roast chicken. Right. That's all he wants to eat. Aww. Is it chicken? Is it chicken? <laughs> They're adorable. They're so adorable. But um, also in a in a very loving way, yeah, and a and a very sort of admiring way. Lots and lots of people sort of do do Ina, yeah. You know what I mean? Do impersonations. But it's just because she's so iconic, so fabulous, oh. and she's just brilliant. We love her. Right. So this centre bit then that I folded together from pin to pin, I'm going to now top stitch. So a little bit of reinforcement. Keep those edges nicely lined up. Now you can sew on one side if you want, or you can sew both edges, but okay. of course the edge that brings the two parts together is essential. So keep that nicely joined up. And this is actually the same shoulder strap that I used on my strippity doodah bag. Uh -huh. And it's just a great bag handle. You can put it on so many different bags. It just elevates the bag a little. I've got to my pin. I'm going to reverse. I'm reversing, I'm reversing. And then the all important press. So what I've created now, I've sewn all the way along here. All right. Sewn all the way along here. Yeah. Just left that final three inches at both end open. Give it a snip. How are we doing time-wise, John? 25 to we're oh, just cool. the ages. Oh, cool. Loads of time. Loads of time. So I'm going to give that a little press. As I say, if you wanted to, you could do a second line of stitching close to that fold, but I'm not going to. No. And then I'm just going to open the ends, get them nice and wide and flat, and I'm just going to press just the bottom. Mm -hmm. You don't have to press all the way up to the top, but just to open that up. And you see, that's the bit that then is going to get inserted into the seam. Right. If you're adding this strap to the front of a bag um, rather than into a seam, then you can either... I Sometimes I design a bag with a seam in place so I can insert it there, or I'll do little seam pockets. Right. So to make those, I'll just get a little... Whoops, a little oh. rectangle of fabric like that. Fold it in half and press it. I'll also fold down the top edges. Just give them a little press, quarter of an inch or so, uh -huh. just to neaten them. And then right sides together, so folds on the outside. And then I'm just gonna sew down the sides. This is turning into a little bag making masterclass, masterclass isn't it? Um, I call these strap pockets. <laughs> Only 50 left now. 50 left now. Oh. Okay. Right. So I've done that. I'm going to turn that through to the right side. Mm -hmm. And then just push those corners out. Should just fit. Okay. Right. And then what I can do is tuck that strap into the pocket. Yeah. So this neatens the end of the strap rather beautifully. Uh-huh. Okay, like that. So then if I wanted to make a bag that had got straps that were here and here, for example, I can, I've neatened the end, yeah. and then I just top stitch Literally. around and across. How so that's brilliant. a different way of adding a strap when you want to put it lower on a bag. Yeah. And sometimes that really works mm. for a bag. Okay, so same principle as before. Either side of the pocket, pin them, base them, and then we'll move on. Brilliant. Happy? Yep. Now, uh, what I need you to do is write the date of today's show down, because obviously these little hacks and everything, they're not on the instructions. The instructions are completely thorough for the bag, but these are all little added things that Stuart's added into the hour. So remember the date and write it in your diary so that when you go in a few weeks' time, when your panel arrives, think, oh, what did he do with that thing again? You can just come <laughs> back to it on YouTube and check it out. What was he doing that day? What was he getting up to? <laughs> I know. Right, so let's do a little a little pouch. Let's do a little pouch for a rotary cutter. So this is the pocket that's included. 
Okay. Now, right. if you want to include an inside pocket, I haven't put it on there because oh. I was always planning this hack. Oh, you see. okay. Okay. So, if you wanted to add a pocket, <laughs> I'm just ignoring. <laughs> yeah, your, I your Performance. <laughs> right. Cut it out properly. I've left a little bleed line for a sec, but um, cut it out properly, and then obviously you're just going to turn a little seam allowance at the bottom. Uh huh. One at the sides. You want a little double hem across the top and press them, and then you're going to top stitch that mm -hmm. then add this to your lining wherever you want it somewhere in the center and then top stitch around the sides just to attach the pocket but i thought i designed it so that you could actually use this to make other things as well Brilliant. i deliberately made it so so what i'm going to do first of all is attach it to a bit of in our um h640 thank you now, I am going to trim this down a little bit. I don't want it quite as long right. as this. So my H640 does run off the end a little bit. OK, now remember, you can buy the H640 either by the half metre or the more affordable ways by a metre for 9 99 You're saving two pounds. OK, I'm going to trim this down. A um, rotary cutter. We'll make sure it's ruler. got a blade. Yeah. Yes, it does. Great. OK, gosh, I feel like I'm on the sewing bee. How appropriate. <laughs> yeah. I was going to tell you a bit of gossip, wasn't I? Oh, I was were you? Well, well. A bit... Oh. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> I think we put a blunt blade in I'll that use one. mine, Oh, yeah, make sure I? you don't mix them up. No. Oh. I know, I know. It makes a funny noise. I changed the blade and I don't know why but it's making a funny noise now. OK, anyway. so what's the gossip? What's the gossip? Oh, well, just that. It should be back on our screens this month. Oh, yes. It's due back this month. Um, there, I've heard all sorts of backstage gossip. Oh, yes. I really have. All about fireworks. Oh. On set. Oh. And um, some fabulous makes yeah and some not so fabulous right makes. that's what we like to hear and um some fantastic personalities to watch out for oh um so yeah it's going to be a good one brilliant okay <clears throat> so what i've done there is i've just cut my pocket down a little bit i'm just going to add a quick bit of top stitching all right just to Wh separate where are you top out. stitching then so i'm going to top stitch between the top band and the patchwork okay just a straight line just a straight line this is also a time when you might get those fancy stitches out yeah that would be fun oh when do orlando's watching everybody oh good morning john and stuart this bag is absolutely gorgeous can't wait for the exercise videos bring back the shell suit it will be a fab chance for you to dust yours off john <laughs> Where oh oh Wendy Orlando, I'm sorry for for blaming you for stealing all those things in the first hour. Oh, for stealing them. Well, we were looking for these samples. We couldn't find them. Couldn't find them. And then it turned out they weren't the fabric that we thought they were in. It sold out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Wendy was told to take them all home. All right, we did that show together. Oh. We had such a laugh. Trisha Ann says, good morning, you two. Two of my favourite sewists. How are the babies, Stuart? And oh. how are the Black Panthers, John? How are the babies? The babies are doing really well, growing at a rate of knots and so like leaping. You know how lambs oh, leap in the it. air? Yeah. It's absolutely adorable. I'm uh, just folding this in half mm -hmm. and then I want to fold one half in half again. Right. So I want to find the quarter point yeah. because I want to place my button loop. Right. Sorry, Black Panthers. They're absolutely gorgeous. They've got a cat flap and uh, they love going in and out all the time now. Except Ghost is a little bit slow. Not in running, they run very fast, but he gets confused with the window. So I've used that little bit of pocket binding yep. that I folded in a mm -hmm. top stitch to make my button loop. Now I don't need all of it, but what I'm gonna do is just fold it over and then I'm gonna place it with the, on that point, on that, um, on that quarter, quarter inch point. mark. Yep. Yep. And just enough so I've got space for a button to go through. And I'm gonna just quickly sew across the top no time for hand basting here, John. No, 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 exactly. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to trim that off. And this is using a bit of... <laughs> Are they our scissors as well? No, then... Oh! Oh, there's a pin in it! Oh, no! Are they all right? They're all... They'll be protected by the fabric, will they? I hope oh, so. No. Yeah, I think they're fine. Oh. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're yeah. good. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, across the top. I'm actually going to use this to make a scissor case. 
Well, the Nevoti cutter yeah. case. Yeah, you can shorten it down however you want to do it. Okay, so um, I also want to add a lining here. So I've cut my lining to size mm -hmm. and I'm going to sew just across the top. Right. All right. So again, quarter of an inch seam allowance or thereabouts. Yeah. This is actually a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch, but that's okay. Okay, that's all done. So I'm going to flip that back. And then what I'm going to do is understitch. Right. So understitching, if you're a dressmaker, you'll know what that is. If you're not a dressmaker, it's sewing very, very close to the seam allowance uh, or the seam line, but just on the lining and the seam allowance side. Yeah. And it will just control the lining and hold it in place. Yes, yeah, of course. I have to like just making on facings, things like that, when you don't want a facing to bounce back. Exactly. Up. So this fitness video, Johnny, you up for it? Oh yeah. Because I mean, I, I could be the before and you could be the after. Oh, stop it! Because I spent my, I spent a big part of my career as an exercise to music teacher. Did you? Twenty-two years. Oh. That grapevine didn't just happen, you know. My uh, my degree, <laughs> my first degree, uh, the, the, I don't know what you call it. I, my two master subjects were English and drama, but my third one, I don't know what you call the third one that you don't do as much, of, was the contemporary dance. Oh, contemporary dance. Which we How did have fabulous. to wear like crystal. How fabulous. It was a long time ago. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> Not that funny. Okay, so I'm going to fold this. Oh, no, I think it was. Um, <laughs> so just get I, sewing. When I did, I, I, I did creative writing um, year course at York St. John University mm -hmm. during lockdown, actually. And um, am I allowed to mention the anthology? Yeah, of course you can. So the anthology, so it's a collection of work from all of the students, was actually published just a couple of days ago. Yeah. Um, so you can buy the book on Amazon. Yeah. It's called, it's called um, Writing Heels. Yeah. And four. Writing Heels Volume 4 yeah. and uh, you can buy it yeah. and so I contributed the first two chapters of a novel that I'm working on which is all about a, a woman who um, discovers her mother um, who she's kind of estranged from discovers her mother through her quilting friends and her quilts and oh. pieces together the story of what happened why why did they become estranged and oh, all of that wow. through her quilts and it's the first two chapters. Anyway, I digress. One of the courses I was offered. Yes. No, hang on. Where, where can we buy the book from? Amazon. Just from say. Amazon. It's yeah. called Creative Writing Heels, Volume Four. Perfect. And I was actually offered contemporary dance, and there was a live like African drummer. So you would just sit in the corner drumming, and you would just do expressive kind oh, of. Oh, I've been on a weekend. Like no, no, I've been on one of those want. weekends. Whatever you want to yeah. do. Whatever you want to do. So I was quite tempted. So I folded this in half, <laughs> lining to lining, front to front. The things that go on in York, it's outrageous. Do what? I, 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 yeah, I'm definitely going clubbing now. <laughs> we were talking earlier about we haven't been night clubbing for ages. We should do it. We should have we should a works do it. outing. It we can go to what's the we can pop court. What's it called? Pop World in York. All right. No, you don't want to go. Never heard of it. <laughs> That's your local, isn't it? Don't you is go clubbing there all the time? No, my, lo seen my local's down there. called the Fenton Flyer. The what? <laughs> my local's called the Fenton Flyer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's never been called going to a dance in my Come era. Thank dance. you very much indeed. How old are you, Hayley? Yeah. I tell you, I want to go to a roller disco. Can you imagine? Oh, no, you don't. You're I so bruised the next day. Well, true, but I'd love to go. Yeah. Because it's so cut, sort of. You can stop the music. I know, I know, no. But Gloria Gaynor, they, um, I was like 43 years. It was number one 43 years ago this week. And I was like, listening to the radio, so they're going, how can that be 43 no. years ago? There was me down Oliver's in Chester, giving it all, you know. Giving it large. Giving it large. In my burgundy. And my burgundy pixie boots. Get fresh for the weekend. See, he's reliving it all now. And he's not even as old as me. Yeah. <laughs> don't. Loved it. Loved oh, a bit no. of Mel and Kim. Oh, don't. I used to go where well, I used to go clubbing in um, uh, Putney. They had yeah. one of those, um, like, <laughs> Saturday Night Fever dance floors where all the squares oh, lit up fantastic. and everything like that. And podiums that you can dance on and everything. <laughs> oh, podiums. <Don't. laughs> 
What are you doing? Oh, so I've just turned this through. I left the bottom, the short end, open. Right. Okay. So remember, this is a hack using what is <clears> meant to be the pocket. Yeah. Because not everyone wants a pocket inside. No. You've got the two great big pockets on the outside. Exactly. You? And also, you. I'm sure you could add a bit of your stash if you want to mm -hmm. make some pockets for the inside. I mean, this fabric really is too lovely to, well, yeah, to have on the inside. Well, yeah, going to see it, aren't they? Yeah, well, apart from you when you go in your bag. Yeah. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to turn down kind of three-eighths of an inch seam allowance mm -hmm. just on the bottom edge. I've left right. the whole of the bottom open for, for ease, um, for turning. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is just pulling that nice and sort of tight across just to create a little fold. Yeah. I'm going to go in there with an iron. And then, John, I'm very simply just going to sew straight across. You could hand sew this, but really, it's the bottom of a lining. Why would you? Right, Stuart. Yes. If you go to the Rewind Festival, there's a roller disco there. Oh, my life is complete. And you can stay in Lowe's Winnebago. <sighs> She, she's got a Winnebago. Really? Mm, she could stay, you can stay in that. Love it. Um, Viv's just looked at your book. She's bought it in the long, in the oh, long river. Oh, thank you. And thinks we're brilliant. And then Claire says, are you still retiring to York? Well, I was thinking of it. And then I realised who the neighbours <laughs> might be. <laughs> I'll get you, Alexis Colby Carrington. <laughs> We've got this thing this morning where we think we're <laughs> Alexis and um, uh, Crystal. 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 I'm the good one. I'm the blonde. Oh no, I thought we were both the blonde one. No, no. Oh, so I'm Joan Collins. No, you're definitely Joan Collins. Vile. <laughs> don't, he doesn't mean that, Joan. Joan, he doesn't mean that. She watches every day. Joan Collins really doesn't like me at all. No, I oh. heard. <laughs> From Joan, actually, funnily enough. Uh, oh, we had a party last yes, week. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Biggins was there, obviously. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> now, I need a hand sewing needle, please. Hey! Hand sewing needle, please. <laughs> Okay, so I've grabbed myself. You can Actually, sew. You can sew a button on with that machine. You you can, but oh, you got the, the foot. button foot is missing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, I've what found are you pointing a at, button. Becky? She's going mm. here. There's a pin cushion there. Pin there's cushion, a pin cushion, and that has with needles, needles in it. it. Awesome. Okay. Good. That's the one with the <laughs> hole in it, not the one with. <laughs> oh, thank you. My You're welcome. As long as we have, so, uh, thank you. So we have sewing experts here. Yeah. These are all pins. Uh, Christine says, "Can't get my housework done for watching pins. you two. They're all pins. This one, in the, we can't. Is Becky's there? got her mask on. We can't hear what she's saying. Do I have to? Oh, ow. Oh, I don't know. We're a sewing channel. I haven't even got a sewing needle. <laughs> oh, Haley's coming out now. There's one where." Oh, you will I'll have a look. We're have a look. We've got Good. seconds. We've okay. got seconds to do it. I mean, look, it's not it's not rocket science, and I probably don't need there to go, show sir. this really. Oh, thank you. Good. <laughs> yeah, well I put my specs on for a reason. Here we go. This is what I have to do now. The specs come off. Okay. And then I can okay, the get the needle in to there. the thread. Oh, well done. All right, and I'm just going to quickly sew the button on. Okay. So button, you could do you could do a little flap with a popper. You could do a magnetic snap, you know, and you could do exactly the same principle inside the the bag as well, couldn't you? If you wanted to do a closure. Uh, Jenny Jackson wants to come club in as well. Honestly, Jenny Jackson she says we'll bring along the Dukey boys. It'll be the hot ticket. It'll be the hot ticket. We'll get we'll get George and Lawrence boogie. Yeah. I bet they're proper boogies, yeah. the pair of them. There we go. All right, so I've done a couple of anchoring stitches. I'm just gonna quickly sew this on. I mean, talk about luck. The one button that we had happened to be hot tomato. No, 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 Becky, you spent hours looking for the hot tomato one, didn't you? It wasn't just one button that we had. We had a whole bundle that you chose. She's looking at me going, no, no, it's the only one we had. <laughs> <laughs> so, Play along, Becky. Obviously, it would be a good idea to leave a little shank on this, yeah, which would, I yes. haven't. But oh. hey, you know, this is this is sewing under pressure. I'm sewing as fast as I can, so I've sewn that button on. There we go. 
There we go. You knew I'd do it. Yeah. Okay, there Judith we go. Judith says that. Morning, boys. Loving. Uh, love the tales of your misspent youths. Should I wouldn't tell any of mine. We're only giving you the froth off the top. The funniest thing is, John, I mean, yeah. I you know, I'm not a drinker now, but when I was at university, I didn't drink at all oh didn't you no i drank diet coke for the entirety of my university life um and i was always tucked up in bed before midnight and i was, I was such a square anyway look i've sewn that and what happened <laughs> Well, nothing really. I'm still the same, you know. I excuse me. I happen to have been out on two social occasions with him. Yes. When I got down to my pants. Yeah. <laughs> and exercised. <laughs> anyway, he's absolutely isn't he naughty? One way of clearing the restaurant, though, isn't it? <laughs> Could you all go home, please? Yeah, I've move on. <laughs> I've put the button on, and um, there you go. That's it finished. So this could be for your scissors. It could be for your rotary cutter. There's actually room for both of those in there. Button on, and that's just a little hack <coughs> using your pocket in a different way. Beautiful. Grab All on right, to that. All done. So this brilliant demo, brilliant demo. This is the panel. How many are left? How many are left? Thirty left. Th Thirty left. I don't know what he's. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of show the enormity. Oh, I thought you were trying to come underneath it. I thought you Look, like the duvet like, look like this. We like Eric and Ernie. Yeah, I was bed. just thinking that. How's your new novel coming on? All right. I finished. <laughs> you finished yours. <laughs> I finished mine. Here we go. Uh, 19.99. 19, 19, yeah, everything. All you need is a bit of interface. Oh, he's, he's gone. Uh, I've gone. I've gone. Okay. Brand new today, exclusive to us. Do what? Designed by Stuart, obviously. Obviously. Oh, we're going to have a look at some detail. We've got to go, Hayley. Look at the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's very hot. Why is that so hot? Oh, it's been against the iron. Uh, oh, you were trying to get me. Have you melted trying, my iPad? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you, Alexis. Yeah, exactly. He's back at 12 doing yarn laying, these gorgeous little, um, what are they called? Uh, toys and hats and <laughs> What mittens. are they called? <laughs> oh, toys. <laughs> oh, look, I wonder who you modeled that one on. Look. Look. Mini, with, mini him. Mini me. Make a lion roar. I'm going to teach you how to make your very own lion's mane. There's a dinosaur, there's elephants. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And then there are hats and mitts that match. They're fantastic. And blanket. I so love beautiful. that dinosaur hat. The dinosaur hat is absolutely Stunning. brilliant. Right, we've got to go, got to go, got to go. Because we've got Search for Star, our very, very first Search for Star. Sarah Brangwin, 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 Brangwin. Is she such? It's off. I'll, I'll see you in four minutes. It is time to reveal our five Search for Star sewing finalists. Earlier on in the year, we asked you, our viewers, to apply to be our next Sewing Street Sewing Star, and we were overwhelmed with the amount of applicants. We have watched hours of audition videos, and we have somehow managed to narrow it down to our chosen five finalists. Our five very talented finalists will be on your screen next week from Monday the 4th of April to Friday the 8th of April. And we've dedicated an hour each day to each contestant to do their demonstrations. We're handing over the choice of the winner to you. So on the Friday after everybody's done their live demonstrations, the voting will be open. Join us all next week to help us choose our Sewing Street Sewing Star. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. So many people are excited about our search for a start and today Sarah Bragwin is waving to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for having me this morning. Oh no, it's our pleasure. You're very chilled and relaxed. I thought you'd all be like, if it was me, I'd be like... Ugh. Well, it's because I'm working with a pro. Oh, well, who's coming on? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's, let's talk about it. So, first of all, what made you apply for search for a star? Um, I just really love showing people all the tips and the tricks that I know about sewing, whether it's dressmaking or patchwork. And I know how one little thing can make a difference to somebody in like the finished product. Uh -huh. So um, I just thought it's a great opportunity to be able to show a few more people my tips and tricks. So where does your, where does, where does your sewing journey start? Uh, well, my mum is a massive sewer. Oh, OK. Yeah, she's watching. Yeah, she is watching. Wait. Hello, mum. Um, and she does loads of dressmaking and home furnishing. So it was just something I grew up with. The sewing machine was always on the table. Um, and then I just, you know, you just absorb it, don't you? Uh -huh. um, well, I, I was never in my house. So, no, I didn't <laughs> absorb it. My mum and dad, oh, mom, my mum definitely couldn't sew. Um, so did you train in sewing? What, what, what's your, what's no. your proper job? No. So um, I went to, I grew up in Kent, went through the grammar system. Um, ended up at university, did an economics degree, ended up in insurance. Oh. And then 10 years ago got to take redundancy, which was very exciting. Oh, wow. And knew yeah. exactly what I wanted to do. You see, I'm a great believer in, in the, the universe opening up. Oh, absolutely. And it's whether we take the, what they offer us, but when things come along and you can't think, well, shall I, shan't I? It's there, they're offering it up for a reason. So yeah. 
lot of people would have gone, oh, no, I've been made redundant at whatever age, and you just kind of think, you've taken it and kind oh, of run with very, it. Very exciting. So what did you do? I don't mean how did you spend, but what did you, what did you, how did you, what did you do when you, so you, you got your redundancy, you got home, you're, here's my redundancy package, I know I've got to pay my mortgage or whatever, how did what did you do to actually start on this uh, in this so quest? i started really small i started in a summer house in my garden and there was a guide hall in my street and i would literally load eight sewing machines up into my car to drive two minutes up the street to unload them because it was just the easiest way to yeah. get the sewing machines up there and then just grew really small and organically listened to what people wanted so you just, were you doing classes you doing, teach yeah people. sewing classes and crochet classes oh okay um and yeah so taught you need a number to come on different... yarn lane if I you do, do crochet yeah. well yeah exactly <laughs> um so yeah started really small listened to what people wanted then got a little premises and um yeah just i've evolved i just uh, every time somebody wants to learn something new i'll do that workshop um, I'll go and do loads of new things myself. I'm an absolute workshop junkie. I'm my own best customer because I just love learning. And oh, there's wow. nothing nicer than being in a creative environment. So what, what part of the world do we work in then? We work just out the back of Brighton in a place called Hassocks. Right. And um, 10 years on, I've got a lovely light airy studio in the grounds of a garden centre. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. So we have up to two workshops running at one time. And do you only do there or do you do nationwide as well? No, uh, we go off site. So I've got a dressmaking retreat that I'm running for the rest of this week oh. um, we go and do shows at the stitch and knit shows and we go and do workshops at private groups and things like that as well oh so if people are interested in getting you to come to their yeah like we've got the long miles and ladies and long miles yeah. and wi and everything if they want you to come along they can yeah i've got wheels i can travel <laughs> no i've got wheels can travel and got sewing machines as I well have, yeah <laughs> so what made you then that day go oh I it's an advert that i mean i presume you watch us you know who we yeah, are yeah and absolutely like yeah um so what made you go, actually, I'm going to apply for it? Do you know what? It's one of the COVID positives. So three years ago, if you'd said to me, go online, do stuff, yep. show people virtually, I would have said, no, no, no. Yeah. Um, then COVID trained us all in using online technology. Uh -huh. And I've become much more confident in my skills to deliver it in a virtual way. Um, and because I've been teaching for so many years, you kind of know what's likely to go wrong. <laughs> so you can preempt it and make sure you've got that covered. And yeah, even yeah. though you can't go into that sitting room with them, you can actually get but away. also you know but you kind of it's it's made us less before like you're saying if you thought of going onto a onto a virtual screen and doing things you, all you're going to think in your brain is what if it goes wrong what if it goes wrong yeah it's it's what you do when it goes wrong which is the skill really because it's always going to go wrong we're doing live tv there's yeah. always going to be something that happens absolutely but it's just that they're learning how to do it isn't well it? and i say to people when they come into workshops now's the time to go wrong yes because you can get all the learning and the help from the person whilst they're there don't do it perfectly in the studio yeah. and oh no home. exactly it's, it's like i will say this like, like i went to wimbledon school of art and i did the costume course there thought i knew everything when i left there got my first job at theater cluid and it was like now the learning begins and made all my mistakes for the last few years at college now i've got to do it for real sort yeah. of thing. so but we all make mistakes exactly. and, and they, they call them design features don't they? they're not mistakes or anything so we've given you the task of making a Sussex seamstress skirt. You have, very right. exciting. I'll just show you this first one. Uh, what we'll do <coughs> is I'll go through all the fabrics and everything we've got for sale and then we'll get on with all the sewing for the whole hour. So the pattern is 15 pounds and 50 pence. You've seen it before, it's a lovely, lovely. In fact, you've met Jane, the designer. Jane the designer yeah, she's was on been a couple on. of weeks ago, wasn't she? Yeah? Um, so it goes from sizes eight to 26. Gorgeous skirt, there is one on a mannequin. Uh, behind us on the set, but fifteen pounds and fifty pence. Uh, I, 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 without opening this, I can't tell you because it's got nothing written on the back. So, have you got one of these open by any chance? I. I just wonder if it had a length. If, if, don't worry, don't worry. Has it got a length and, and shortened line on the skirt? I just don't want to open another one. That's all. To to lengthen it, yes. Yeah. So you can make it as long or short as you want to, really. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, okay, so that's your pattern. Right, so what you'll need is, what we're using today is we're using this gorgeous corduroy. Now, some of the colours you will have seen before, other colours are brand new today. I love working with corduroy like this, I think it's gorgeous, but it does throw up its, its difficulties, doesn't it? Oh yeah, doesn't she's it? looking at me. <laughs> Which colour would you like to do first, Hales? Black first. Right, this is a bundle of two metres. We've done a bundle of two metres, which I'm presuming is enough to make all the sizes. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. Now, your telly, it's not going to look much. It's just going to look like a black mess on your telly. Look, you can't mass and not mess. 28.99, that's four and a half whale, which means you get four and a half of those ridges. I'll show you on the blue. Oh, no, there you go. You can see it there. You can get, you get four and a half of those ridges. Hang on. Ooh. 
you get four and a half of those ridges. So when you see different corduroys, no matter what that number is, so if it goes up to like a 20, it means it's like a needle cord because you get 20 ridges in it. And then this is four and a half whales. Well, so you get four and a half of those uh, ridges per inch. Beautiful. Uh, and have a look. It's n wide fabric. Wide fabric. I'd say that was a 55 inches wide. 29.99. Anyway, let me just put that one over here for now. Next colour. Okay, let's do a pale blue then. This one is um, CNLJ17. No, that's a bot. That's a bundle. Oh, sorry. Yes, I've given you the code for the half meter, so I can't give you the code for the bundle. Sorry. So this one's called pale blue. There, you can really see that the ridges in the corduroy there. It's beautiful quality, this really lovely quality. Two meters, 28 pounds and 99 pence. I'm kind of trying to do this as quickly as possible because I want to go on with the same. Then I think this might be a brand new color, this one. What's it called? Camel. Two meters again in the camel. Now, now the others I've shown you so far, we haven't got by the half meter, but because this is brand new, oh! Why is this $24.99? Okay, right, okay, there's been a bit of a, that should be $28.99 as well. So you're getting a deal, first of all. Two meters of corduroy, camel, brand new today. If you want it by the half meter, so if you want more, if you want to make, a cushion, make cushions or make a sofa cover or something like that, uh, are we going to do it by the half meter or is that on the website? Pop it on the website. Pop on the screen. Yeah. Six ninety nine for half a meter. You see that's that yes. Okay. You see that should be the twenty eight. But there you go, there you go. We'll just move on. Now I've got a like a very dark navy blue. Oh, it's just called dark blue this one. Uh, so this is the bundle of two meters. Oh no, who's done these? Doesn't matter, you save, you're saving four pounds. <laughs> Let's say it's a Sarah special. <laughs> Sarah special for today. $24.99. We have got it by the half meter as well, if you want to buy it by the half meter. So it's a brand new colour, this one. I wonder why they just called it dark blue. It's like French navy. It is like a French navy, isn't it? It's a gorgeous colour, rich, very rich. Are we doing it by the half meter? Loads are coming in for that one. Well, first of all, you're saving four pounds, but secondly, it's the most exquisite colour. Even if you don't make this skirt, if you make like a, um, like a, uh, what am I trying to say? Pinafore. A what? Pinafore. Pinafore dress. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Pinafore dress. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Yeah, this means in the sewing world, that means <laughs> <laughs> pinafore dress. Right. Okay. That's your dark blue. Then now these are going to be a bit difficult to distinguish. I've got the darker of the two that you've got. Oh, they called this one teal. Okay. No, they've done it again. 24, 99. We're losing money hand over fist this morning, aren't we? That's your teal. 24, 99. Now, have I got this by the half meter as well? It's gorgeous. So lovely, isn't it? 6.99. Teal, you see, I'd call that more peacocky than teal, personally. And they're all on the website, so I'm going fast because we want to get to see Sarah sewing. And then this one here, which is your aqua, which is what you've got, isn't yes. it? Yes. $24.99 for your two-metre bundle. And again, uh, by the half metre. Just coming up now. There you go, $6.99. Beautiful, isn't it? I love all those colours. Right, now, when you opened your parcel and you saw four and a half whale corduroy come through the door, what did you think? <laughs> thought this would be interesting. Yeah. It's going to make a right mess. <laughs> yeah. So where do we start? How do we do it? What's, what's, where, just tell us what to do. Okay, so I'm a firm believer in dressmaking is just like decorating. It's all in the preparation. Okay? okay. So this is a really brilliant beginner's project. It's quite straightforward. There's a couple of really good learnings in there. Um, but one of the key things is how you're going to handle this fabric. Right. 
Um, so for starters, when you're working with corduroy, you've got this pile that works in okay, the corduroy. Okay, we'll just come to that. Let's try, there you go, brilliant. Yeah. And when you're working with your garment, you want that, that pile in the corduroy, it's called the nap, to go in a particular direction. And for a skirt, you want it to be going down. Right. So when you get your corduroy out of the packet, just rub it and feel it, and one way will feel smoother, and that's the way you want to be going down your garment. So I've just pinned on a dummy section here, and this here is going to be the top of my, um, my garment here, and that's going down to the bottom. Okay. So make sure you make use of that, and everything has got to be pinned in that direction, otherwise it's really going to show okay. up. Do you know Jenny Jackson? I do, she yes. Lives, she lives in Hassock. She does, just oh, around the corner. you know that already? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, I've pinned a pattern piece on here as well just because I've got this tip that I do when I'm showing dressmaking and it's all to do with notches. So I'm just going to take these two pins out here. Right. And we've got notches on the side of the pattern here. And right. they're going to be markings that we're going to need to match up. Where are they? Just here and here. Oh, they're yeah, just yeah, these yeah, little yeah. lines. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so when I'm cutting out my patterns, I always make sure that I've got a pin going in the pattern and hanging over the edge of the paper pattern right because as I cut around there with my scissors it makes me stop the amount of times you can cut oh, off and not mark yes, a notch yes, yes. because I'm an outie not an innie when it comes to notches so am I are you yeah outie yeah definitely outie because yeah. Yeah. if you yeah. go in you're losing a seam allowance mm -hmm. you've got less room mm -hmm. to play around with so now is this pattern then does it have the seam allowance already included in it it does it's got a one centimetre seam okay, allowance right. which will catch some regular dressmakers out because normally it's like five eighths yes, an inch exactly. but centimetre but you see half. I'm also used to drawing my own pattern so none of my patterns have seam allowance ah. on them so I would then have to add the seam allowance on but that's got the seam allowance yeah. in it yeah so it's got a centimetre in it okay so yeah so when you're cutting out always hang a pin out where your notches are and then you're never going to miss those notches brilliant now the other thing about corduroy is um it's going to make a massive mess in your room when you're <laughs> stitching because yeah. it just frays it just um yeah, it just yeah. scatters fluff so all of my pieces have been overlocked around the edges so that that's not going to do any fraying and making mess in no. my room while i'm stitching um, and because when you overlock, you sometimes trim off your notches, I've got this little trick with the embroidery thread. And um, I just literally have it sitting by me when I'm overlocking. And wherever there was a notch, I just hang the embroidery thread over the edge and let the overlocker trim no, it. No, I've never seen that before. That's brilliant. Yeah. So you've got all of your notches marked with a thread. So here I've got... It's really weird because most of the things we get when I'm doing an overlocking show, people are going, well, what about my notches? notches you're, yeah. just, you're just taking your notches off. Yeah. That is so, and so you literally just lay it across as you're overlocking Just round. literally, if I was overlocking down this edge, i just have one of these by the side, make sure you can see it, it's a good yeah, colour, yeah, of course, yeah. and just hang it across, and so it chops it off. And, but keeps it attached at the same time? Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you can afford it, get the Elner air thread. Have you got an air thread or overlocker? No. Oh, they're a game changer. I know. I love it. I'm the, jealous I, of everyone. Oh, I love it. I love, yeah, one I can thread. Thanks, Charlie. I tried to do a show and they couldn't thread it on air. And um, Charlie thinks it's the funniest thing he's ever seen. Yeah. Anyway. But did you know the tubes can get blocked with dust? Well, no, it was just me. Because uh, the next morning I came in and threaded it I was trying to help you there. No, no, it was me. <laughs> I, 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 I'll I put my hands up. It was me. I think that, well, first of all, that's a brilliant tip. I've, well, all the years the I've been sewing yeah. and I've never ever seen that. So I just leave all my little um, my embroidery thread bits in and then when I come to put my two pattern pieces together, you can just fold it back and make sure that they're all matching up. How brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So overlock all your edges first. It's going to feel like a faff, but A, it's going to reduce all that fluff and B, when you're finished, you're finished. But also that's my go-to. Like yeah. that's the way I was trained is yeah. you overlock all the edges yeah. because when you, like you say, when you finished it, all, all your edges are finished yeah. and you then haven't got then go through the whole garment and fix all the And sometimes thing. you can't get into all those places yeah. with your overlocking. No, no, exactly. Yeah. So, um, so that's my top trick there. And Brilliant. then um, one of the first things is this... Uh, wonderful pocket that we've got going okay. on on I'll the skirt. You, oh yeah, Charlie, you can see that, can you? Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. Um, and it's a lovely deep sort of inseam pocket because it's lining up with the seams here, but people might not have done that before. Right. So I just wanted to show that really quickly. No, no, that's fine. You've got plenty of time. There's no rush whatsoever. So this is the front panel here, and then I've pinned on top of it just the lining that's going to be for my pocket. Um, so I'm just going to whiz down here and do that seam. Okay, so now, first of all, you don't want to line it with the cordroid, do you? Because that's going to be no, too much. No, it's going to be too it? much when you put your hand in and out. It's going to catch. Yeah. So just something like medium weight cotton, anything you've got to hand, really. Yeah. If you're feeling thrifty, it could literally be the, um, I don't know, something just hanging around in the yeah, cupboard. Yeah, no, we call it stash. Stash. Not hanging around, stash. Stash. Also, uh, we've uh, confused her completely because there's two... Foot, there's two foot pedals on the floor underneath the machine, so you have to guess which one was she to use. Then. 
It's too much choice. Stuart's too much fault. choice. That's Stuart's fault. Is it? So I've just whizzed that together. Now, when you're dressmaking, one of the things is you want that professional finish. You don't want to see the lining coming out of the garment. Mm -hmm. So on this here, this is obviously going to be the inside of my pocket and this yeah. is going to be the outside. And then we're going to do something called edge stitching down right. here, which is attaching the lining fabric to um, the seam allowance, which is underneath. Right. And that's yeah. going to mean that that's all stays inside. Oh, yes, yeah, Stuart just did, did one of those, didn't he? And it's, it's really good on facings, on yes. dresses and everything, because I can't the uh, if you have a shirt or a dress and, and the facing's all sticking out here. If you do this, it stops that all stops the time. Stops it all. It? So it doesn't matter what fabric you use for the inside, because no one's going to see it. Yeah. So I've got another top tip. OK, brilliant. OK, so when you're trying to sew a line of stitching that's parallel to a seam line like this, yeah. it can be really hard for the eye to know what to look for. So what I do is I run that line of stitching down the centre of my foot, which is really easy to see. Right. Because you've got the, the mark in the centre of the foot. Of course. But then I offset the needle to the left or the right uh, hand side. OK. So I'm just going to run this through the machine. I'm going to line my seam up with the centre of the foot and I'm going to, on this machine, all it means I have to do is just reduce the width of the stitch on the straight stitch. And that brings it this way. It's going to bring it towards you. Yeah. I'm just going to put my glasses on to concentrate and watch. Yeah. And stand up sewing as well. And stand up sewing. And then I don't know if the cameras are going to be able to pick well, that up. Well, soon seeing, Charlie, well. that's your job. Yeah, I don't know if we can get in really close to see that extra line of stitching. But what that means is that that lining is going to stitch nicely inside really? our pocket. Can you put it on the big telly? Can we put it on the big telly, Charlie, just for us here so we can see it? There you go, perfect. There we go. That's so that line of stitching yeah. just there is really parallel to the seam because oh, all we've yeah. done is off -stitch, offset the needle. Offset the needle, but you've kept the seam going straight down the middle of your foot so you know that it's going to be a straight yeah, line. Which is really easy to watch. Yeah. yeah. Did you have to alter your stitch because of the corduroy? Like um, on the normal sewing together, did you make it any bigger? I didn't need to. Um, I did a good set of test stitching beforehand. And when you're test stitching, always make sure that you're sewing the same amount of layers that you're going to be stitching. So don't just do it with one bit of do fabric, one, yeah, do it yeah. with two. Do it with a bit of interface fabric because some of this is going to be interfaced. But where you're doing um, normal stitching for the seam, I didn't have to make any allowances, no tension allowances either. Um, when I'm top stitching, I always lengthen my stitch a bit because it looks a bit nicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just wondered because you think because it's quite a rut it, you know, it feels like you've got you've got to make a bigger stitch but you didn't need yeah to. no it okay. feels different when you're stitching with it but um, no it's absolutely fine and the trick is obviously because um, you've got this line um, you know you've got your whales going down the corduroy yeah. is to make sure that you're using those and keeping those nice and straight just like you would a stripe or something. Do you know somebody called Jackie Juden? I do indeed. She says hello Sarah and John. Sarah's mum and friends are watching. Oh, not to add any pressure. Them. Not oh. to add any pressure. Hello, gang. Um, John, I've been dressmaking for years and that tip of notches is brilliant. Thank oh. you, says Sue. Uh, Emma says that's really clever. Uh, very good tip for another Sue says very good tip for knocking, nar marking notches. <laughs> Um, and uh, the corduroys are gorgeous, they are indeed. And lovely to see you, Sarah. Wishing you a great show with John from Diana. Aww. So there's lots of love coming Aww, in. That's lots brilliant. of love. I like a lot okay. of love. Okay, so where are we doing, what are we doing next, then? Um, so the next thing that I want to take you through is we're just going to, because it's quite an interesting pocket, this one. Yes. Um, I do like it. And I like the fact as well that it's actually got a bit of bag here to fit your hand in. There's so, no point in having a, a, a one that looks lovely, but then you can't actually get anything. They're there exactly, for a reason, aren't they? Exactly. So... I'm just going to quickly just turn this into the inside and you'll notice you can see there, see I've still got my little notchy notches, bits yeah. in, so that's all there and then I am just going to grab my pocket section. So do you make clothes for yourself then? I do, but the thing is it's like anything, it's like a builder isn't it, he's always got a list of jobs at home that he hasn't done. Okay. Um, so I don't get to do always as much sewing as I would love to do. Right. Um, but for yourself for myself for yeah. yeah so I have to uh, when I'm sewing I do batch production so I do all my cutting out one day of like maybe two or three projects right and then I'll do a bit of sewing another day just oh, because okay. when you're in the zone just keep you know just keep in the zone yeah. so to speak so what are you doing there then what's that so right this is the top of the outside of the skirt and this is the bottom bit and oh, we've okay. just created it, yeah. the pocket bag yeah. in here yeah 
So I'm just going to whiz that together at the bottom because it doesn't match nicely at the top and that's because it's got this little bit of bag to put your right, hand in. Right, okay. So I just want to reassure people yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, yeah. as it's supposed to be. Now, another lady's messaging Susan. Hello, Sarah. Enjoy your day with the Sewing Street team. They're oh. the best sewing family. Oh. oh, thank you, Susan. Right, OK. OK, so I've um, sewn together the bottom. C can you just hop, uh, un unfold it so we can see what this is? So the actual piece looks very odd at this stage, really doesn't odd. it? Yeah, really odd. So don't panic if you start, if you think, because well, you'd look at that and you'd think, I've sewn the wrong yeah. bits together haven't they because it looks very very odd yeah. and then how does it work then so this is going to be the inside of your pocket and yep. the part of this is going to be the inside of your pocket right so this edge gets taken up to here right like so and I'll just pop a pin in there to hold it and does it tell you have you got notches as to where you have to fold it and things absolutely so here's my amazing notches again yeah there's one pink thread and there's another. Oh, there oh, you go. Well, so that's, pink that's how easy it is. People worry that it's you know, or you've got it's all this then stuck in there. But yeah. they just come out. Yeah. So it's no problem whatsoever. So that I've matched that side up there. Okay. But if I turn it around this way, you'll see. Oh yeah. And you'll think you've gone wrong. Yeah, you would definitely. Yeah, definitely think you've gone wrong. And all you've got to do is just bring it back in. Because you're creating a, a bucket pocket rather than just exactly. a flat pocket. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, Julie gonna... said, Julia says welcome Sarah oh such a nice family the Sewing Street says, family we do love a pocket or a snack hole as they are known by a small person <gasps> fabulous skirt demo so far Susan what a lovely lady says Teresa thank you very much Ooh. okay so so that's the bit you've got to watch there is don't yeah. panic that you don't think you panic. cut it wrong just pin it because when you pin it you can see they're the same shape but it will create your bucket pocket yeah, yeah. so that you can easily slide your hand in there fantastic so I think that's a really good top trick um, and then I want to move you on, so because we can all imagine what that's going to look like when you stitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all so I basically, make two of those: one for, a, a mirror image of each of them, one for each side of the skirt. Yes, yeah. exactly. And um, my top trick on that would actually be because you've joined the pocket at the bottom already. Yeah. Is don't stitch that way. And a lot of dressmaking, you would stitch down. Oh yeah. But with this, because you've already joined the pocket, if you were to stitch down and create some bag, you're going to end up with it not feeling very nice here. So actually, I would take that stitching in that direction so that oh. you just run the top of the pocket up yeah, to yeah, the, yeah. towards the top of the skirt. Oh, yeah, hang on. Before you go to the next thing, oh, you've got oh, more messages. Oh, oh. More messages on your bottom. Wow, amazing lady. I always feel like I'm, a, I'm in a safe pair of hands. Do you know what? I was just thinking exactly the same thing, Karen. Exactly the same thing. Yeah, no, no, uh, you forget that, I've, you forget it's a search for star, I'm just like, oh yeah, because sometimes you can be a little bit, uh, oh my goodness, that tip with embroidery thread and overlocking smart notches will change my life, Jennifer in Lancashire. You oh. see, so simple, isn't it? And I've, I've never seen it before. Another one, very quickly. Uh, what a fabulous demonstrator Sarah is, Julie in Northumberland. Thank you, Julie. Look at all these coming in. Blimey. Uh, good morning, John and Sarah. Should I pre... Oh, good question now. Should Ooh. I pre-wash corduroy before cutting it out? If so, how? Is it okay to machine wash? And what about detergent? Christina Lincolnshire. Right, I'll get Hayley to look at the manufacturer's um, uh, recommendation because I, this isn't one place I... Oh, there's one more. I'll do this first. Good morning, John and Sarah. Oh, no. Uh, Morning, John. Sign Sarah now before anyone snaps her up. She's brilliant from Glynis. Glynis, right, we will do. Oh, uh, well, it's up to you. You have to start voting on Friday. Um, I wouldn't wash corduroy before I started. Because I, I always say, if you're making dresses, wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it. But I don't know if I would wash the corduroy before. And what would you do? I would. Oh, you would? Yeah. Well, controversial. Right, well, okay. it's always controversial, isn't it? Sometimes I don't get enough time to wash something, and I don't, and I do regret it. And other well, times you get away with it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know now. Why wouldn't you? Only because I quite like it. I, I quite like it all being pristine. Because as soon as yeah. you wash corduroy, you're gonna hang on. We're gonna do what? No, I know you have to wash it at some stage when it's stitched together. I'll be quiet. Look up. The, <laughs> they've been rude to me now. Done my earpiece. Look up the manufacturer's instructions on washing it, please. I bet they say wash it at forty degrees. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. Well, you see, that's really weird because I wash everything at forty degrees. Yeah, ditto. How do you spell corduroy? You've got it in front of you. C O R D U R O Y. Corduroy. Anyway, carry on. You would wash it in 40 degrees yes. using normal soap yeah. detergent. Yeah. Do you use 
I can't say comfort. Do I don't you... use a softener. No. No, no. Thing is, you need to wash the fabric as it's going to be used and lived in. So there's no point in doing a special wash at pre-wash stage if you're not going to do that every time no, you wash I it later. No, I it strict. Hang on, here we go. These are the manufacturer's recommendations. Oh, machine wash at 30, they always say that. 30, see, eco. And it's dry cleanable. And what? Tumble, oh, you see, I wouldn't put it in the tumble dryer. No, I wouldn't tumble dryer. Says you can tumble dryer on a low heat, so I wouldn't put cordial in the tumble dryer. No. Oh, okay. Yes, soft furniture, yes, I've said that. Toys, oh, okay. Um, does it say what kind of detergent you use, just normal? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I use non-biological myself because I'm very sensitive. You see, I would also, I wouldn't put it in the tumble dryer, I'd hang it in a, in a hanger because you, wanna, you don't want to overpress it because you ruin the effect no, of it. No, no, exactly. So if you hang exactly. it and don't overspin it when you wash it, then you're probably not going to have to overly iron it anyway. So would you put it in a normal wash? Normal wash. Yeah. Take, just take it out the washing machine. Take it straight out the washing machine. And hang it up. And hang it up straight away and let it air dry hung on a hanger. Well, I put mine over the banisters because I'm quite lucky I've got quite a long drop down from my landing down to the downstairs. Uh, that's where the duvet cover normally is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm getting my duvet covers done out. I yeah. don't do them myself. <laughs> anyway, that's one, 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 one luxury in life. OK, so we've washed the fabric yeah. using normal detergent and don't tumble dry it, even though you can tumble dry it on a low heat. Then, then, then would you press it before you start cutting it out? Oh, yeah, I think you've got to give it a press because yeah. otherwise it can have that wrinkle yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was yeah. worried about because I like working, like at the moment, I like working because it's pristine isn't yeah, it yeah but, it's got that lovely finish but it, it will go it will go a little bit like that so. yeah no i'd press it i'd probably press it from the wrong side yeah, or make definitely. sure that i've got some sort of nice cloth baby muslins oh baby muslin well yeah brilliant. The, the other thing that's baby muslin is brilliant for the top we usually sell that we haven't got it at the moment but if you've got a velvet board now look we've never mentioned this here you can get a velvet board where you iron velvet now we're starting to sell velvets maybe we should invest get our buying team to get it it's like a big bed of nails <laughs> but it's not nails, but it's like lots and lots and lots of pins all sticking up sharp, right? And you put the velvet on the velvet side down and then you iron the back of it. So is it like the stiff bit of Velcro? Yes, exactly like that. Yeah. And then it, it, what it does is it does, you, don't, you don't flatten it. You, you know if you iron velvet or corduroy on a normal ironing board, it flattens it, doesn't it? This doesn't let it flatten because it's sitting on like a bed, little bed of nails. Yeah. Anyway, we'll look into that. Yeah. So we've washed it, we've, we've washed dried it, it we've over dried the banisters it, yeah. on a hanger. Yeah. And we've cut it out. Yes. Right, now which bit are we going to show next? Um, so we're going to show the front of the skirt because, um, so you've made your panels. Can we just come to one over here? Yeah, oh, well, excuse me, Charlie, she's directing from the floor now. <laughs> Go on. Um, we're gonna, we've got our pockets. Yeah. The back's really simple. It's just some panels to sew together, nothing at all daunting. Yeah. And so you've constructed your garment, but then we've got these front panels. Right. Now, where we're going to put the buttons and the button holes, we want to interface it. Right. Okay, so yeah. we're going to cut ourselves some strips of interfacing. Right. That are going to go, if I just peel well, this I'm back. Going to, you do carry on with that. I'm going to take this one off the stand so we Ooh. can have a look at the different so, panels. So um, within the back of my, um, the front pieces, I've got some interfacing going in here. Um, and you're going to need to cut strips of interfacing. And if you are a uh, patchworker and you've got a rotary cutter at home, I would strongly recommend when you're cutting strips of interfacing just to get your rotary cutter and your ruler out because it makes life so much easier. Right. Interfacing is really lightweight. It shifts around a lot. So cut your strips using that. And then you're going to um, have ironed it onto the back of here to make this bit stronger. Right. I ne I'd never seen a rotary cutter before I came to work at Sewing Quarter. <gasps> I never no! ever got trained with a rotary cutter at all. Now, you're talking about interfacing. Yes. We've got the lightweight here. Would you use lightweight on cordial or would you use the medium weight? I've used lightweight on this and it's uh, nice. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Because may maybe the medium weight's a bit too thick for it. Yeah. Oh, I can't show you this. I'll have to hold it up like that. You don't really want Hales. the interfacing. Is Hayley there? She's gone. Hayley! She's busy chatting, sorry, she's busy <laughs> chatting. Like, everyone's so relaxed because she's so good. Like, interfacing. I can't show it on that camera because she had to go and do some printing. I'm showing it on this one. This is the lightweight, soft and light PTZW70. There you go. She hasn't got that, she says. 299. It's the lightweight one, the lightweight one. Right. It's because what you, you don't want to interface and to change the structure or the drape of the fabric. You just want it to mm -hmm. provide a little bit of extra oomph to it. Um, so we're going to mark out the buttonholes. 
Right. So this is, I know, buttons and buttonholes. Sorry, button I'm going to ask you to go back, go back, go back. So where did you put the interfacing? Is it on both sides of the fold or just one? I know I was busy taking it's the mannequin off. It's on both sides of the fold in here. Right, OK, yeah. fine. And there's a little one centimetre seam allowance in here that, that didn't have it. Turns it, in. Okay. Yeah. So and, um, I've, um, I've top stitched down this in a contrasting thread so people could see it a little bit easier because if you use the same colour thread, sometimes you just can't see it. Can no, you? which sometimes in real life, do you want that or not? Well, you could do it. It's a design feature, you see. Mm -hmm. Depends how confident you are with your yeah. stitching. And again, you see, this is my nifty trick with this one is um, a lot of people would stitch that from the back because that's where the fold is that yeah, they're yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, stitch yeah. down. But you should never really do that. Top stitching should always be from the front. And make sure you've got something you can reference on your sewing machine to make sure that your line of stitching stays straight with the edge that it's going to be seen against. Mm. Don't, yeah. Um, really, yeah. The thing is, people don't realise that the, a stitch from the bob inside is different to the stitch exactly. from the top side because the top side is the fabric that's going down and being caught, and the bobbin fabric is the one going in a different direction. So even though we sometimes we all are guilty of doing it, it is actually a different stitch. Isn't it, it is, yeah. yeah. And it's the top, it's the top of it that you want to see. Yeah. So always make sure your garment is um, upside for yeah. top stitching, and yeah, a longer stitch. Right. Sorry. So, I'll... can I carry on? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can. Right, so um, I've popped some pins on here and really what I wanted to explain to you was when you get this pattern piece, what I've got here is the one centimetre fold um, back for the inside and right. then I've got another fold here. Right. So if I just fold this back like this, this is the equivalent of what I've done on the inside of my garment. Right. Okay. So now if I look at this, pop it on top and then fold back, mm -hmm. you can begin to see where your buttonhole should be. Right. And I think a lot of people would instinctively think that the buttonhole should be in the middle of that, um, that area. Yeah. But actually, no, you don't want it in the middle. You want it offset a bit. Oh. So if this was going to be the right-hand side of my garment, right. I would want the buttonholes to be closer to my stitch line than to the edge, right. just so that everything sits nicely when uh -huh. you put the buttons in place. Of course. So having um, prepped your side edge, just m sit it along the pattern piece that you've got, and all you need to do is put a pin in, in line with each one of these buttonhole markers. See these straight lines yeah, going yeah, down yeah, here? Yeah. So just put your pin in there. But then you've got to work out where to put your button. And I put it in my little pocket in case I lost okay. it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, depending on your machine, you might have a fancy machine that is a, like a one-step machine and does it all in one uh -huh. go. Or you might have a four-step machine, in which case you've got to exactly work out the beginning and end of your buttonhole. Mm. So, I know that that's where I want my buttonhole to be. I'm just going to take that pin out. And I'm going to take my button and I'm gonna pop my button on top so that that pin is coming down the center of the piece of wood. It's not coming down one of the sets of um, holes, it's yeah. coming down the center of the piece of wood. And then I'm gonna take that pin, because it's gonna ping over there, and I'm just gonna pop that underneath. So not at the top edge, right. but underneath where that first set of yeah, holes yeah, yeah. is. <coughs> like that. Yeah. And that is where I want the top of my buttonhole to be. Because I want my button to be centred, but I don't want it to be in the centre of the buttonhole. Right. Because I don't want my skirt no, 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 to travel open. No, 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 travel, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're going to need to do that for each of your buttonholes. So just take your button and take it down, because your buttonholes are going to come in this direction, yeah. not that direction. Ooh, yeah. They're not going to go parallel, they're going to go perpendicular. Yeah. And then you're going to need a fabric marker pen. Yes. Um, now, because it's... Uh, corduroy that becomes tricky it certainly does because if you're in the dip of the the cord you can get a nice mark but if you're on the surface you can't so you're going to have to play around with whatever you've got at home and make sure you choose the right one that you can show so do a load of tests on some scraps oh yeah always always, always. Yeah. Um, and if you can't get a good mark there is the buttons yeah I'm just I'm just Hayley's asking me how many there are yet two on a card Hayley yeah yeah you need to so you need how many buttons are on the skirt uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, you seven. So you'd need four packs of those buttons if you go with these buttons. Right. Um, so I'm, com uh, you see, because I always think that that's, isn't that meant to be your button? Is that not your button then, that circle there? Yeah, no, it is your button, but your button is going to be centred, but your buttonhole isn't. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so you're going to have marked that and then you can put your buttonhole in and you might find that you need to have 
a top marker and like that and a bottom marker okay so now that would be that if would be you the length, if you've got a four step machine yeah because <coughs> on up, my on my machine you put the button in yeah and, and then the it back does of the it, fancy yeah, thing. it does it. It does it the right size, but you still need to know where it's going to start. Yeah, that's the most important. And thing, often isn't it? they start at the bottom. Oh, do they? Yeah. See, that's why you need to test it out. Yeah, isn't it, really? it is exactly. Always make sure that you look to see where it starts. Yeah. Which is fine because you could just swing it around Turn that it side. Around, yeah. yeah, and start it that now, way. Now, uh, would you do your? You see, on this, I would say buttonholes go on last, go on last. But actually, I'm thinking, would it be easier to do your buttonholes while it's still in a, a single piece like that, or not? Well, so the interesting thing is you could do these buttonholes on this bit whilst yeah. it's like this, but the very top buttonhole, on, on the waistband. that's on the waistband. But you could do that afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking sometimes when you're doing buttonholes, if you've got the whole this skirt, now this is the one we've already got made here. Right? Oh, now look, this one was done by, uh, wasn't this one done by Rebecca? And all her edges are all over lot, you see, beforehand. Um, <clears throat> Uh, just, rather than having the whole of the skirt exactly. going under while you're doing the buttonholes, yeah. you could do because you've got your interfacing in there. It's yeah. nice and stable. Do all of your buttonholes from the skirt while it's like that, and then also if you make a mess of it, yeah. you can then cut another panel out. You can't can. you, yeah. thing, you know what I mean? But you've got not as much going through the machine, and then obviously you'll do the last one. Last that, one when the waistband's on. When the waistband's on, on yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I would always do that because exactly as you say, if something goes wrong and, you know, we, we can all make mistakes. Well, I always, that's what I hate you say, because working in costume, you very seldom use buttons because you'd use hook and bars or laces and things like that. I always take, you take it, you finish a whole garment, then you do the buttonholes. And this was before we had the, it was a proper old fashioned, go down, finish, do the ends. For, yeah. And um, it could ruin that, you know, you could yeah. spend weeks on it and it could yeah. ruin the whole thing. Yeah. Not, I'm trying to put you off. No. Practice, 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 that's what I'm saying. Well, and even the pros get it wrong. And actually, I find that in the workshops, when I do something wrong, it really inspires other people. Oh, no, no, Because no. they realise that we can all get it wrong. That, well, that's what it, people, not, don't, people don't love it when our experts go wrong. But when an expert goes wrong, it gives people faith because they think, oh, they never go wrong and I always go wrong. Yeah. We all do it. Even yeah. the hundreds of years that I've been doing it. Yesterday, I was doing uh, my godson's little judo belt and everything, putting the extra, he's just done third Dan in black belt or something like that. And that's a stick and I did it, I set the machine wrong. And it, I was like, it's the simplest thing, but if, you, if your brain's not in gear when you go to do it, then it's, it's, we all make mistakes. Yeah. Right, morning Sarah, you are a fabulous teacher, says Rachel. Hello, uh, Sarah, I think I've seen you before. Ooh. You're a natural and your tips are brilliant. Thank you so much, says Christine. Shelley says, she is a natural. Uh, Linda said, I've been dressmaking 50 years and learned a lot from Sarah's tips this morning. Love the overlocking one with the marking and the notches. <clears throat> I always use tailor tacks. Well, these like modern day tailor tacks, aren't they? Uh, one more. Uh, we need more dressmaking demonstrators. Sarah is very good to watch from Sue. Oh, hang on, loads. Jill says, what a lovely lady and full of information. Claire says, she's a bit good, isn't she? <laughs> <coughs> Julie Vaughan says, I told you Sarah was good. Uh, great demo, Sarah. Uh, well, and then other Julia says, welcome, Sarah. So lots of people say, oh, yeah, you have to vote, remember? You've got to vote after the last one on Friday. I'm doing four of them, remember, because I'm in six days this week. Uh, after the show on Friday, you can start voting on Friday. Anyway, also, I don't want to say <coughs> sound like bad news, but uh, uh, people who are on X Factor who go first never win. No, well. so, uh, we won't let we <laughs> we'll we'll show you a clip of everybody on the last day. Don't you worry. Right. Okay. So we've done buttonholes. Is, what else do we need to, to know about buttonholes? Oh, so it? when you're opening up your buttonhole, and thank you for all the love, by the way. Yes. Um, right. So here's one I prepared earlier. Okay. And again, I've just done it in a contrasty thread so that people can see it a okay. bit easier. Now, so this is once you've stitched it and you're going to split the, rip them open. Yeah, yeah, this is when you can really go wrong. Mm -hmm. You need a pin. There's loads of different ways of opening a buttonhole. Um, you can get a little buttonhole chisel. Oh, all sorts oh of yeah, you, it's funny you should say that because I tidied ours away the other day. Oh no, I can't believe we've got a date on those pins. If you don't know what to, you don't mind me standing next to you, do you? No, I don't. Uh, we, uh, these are available on the website. They're, Mark Francis brought these in. These are little chisels to cut your buttonhole with. Which way, where you put it in like that and you bang it down and it cuts the fabric. Yeah. And you'll see if we can see that one. Chisel, C-H-I-S-E-L. Yeah. I was a school, used to be a school teacher, so I have to work like this all the time. Go. Right, so, um, got a buttonhole. You put a pin in the top and that is the most important thing going. Right. Because you're going to use your seam ripper and you're just going to lift it up ever so slightly 
and pop your seam ripper in the bottom and just slide. Now, if this seam ripper had a bobble on it, which it should have. Which it should have. All good team members should have a bobble on. I would put it in the other way round and I would leave that on the table and I would slide using the table yeah. to support me. But I don't want to scratch your table, no. so I'm just going to do it Isn't it funny because I've never used it that way up. I've always used and nobody ever taught <gasps> me about that. No, the bobble's really yeah, important. Yeah. And it really irks me that, that some of them don't even come with a bobble on them. Well, that one will have come with bubble bobble. It will. And then you're just going to slide it along ever so carefully because you want to get to the pin, but you don't want to jam the the seam ripper up against the pin too much because it's going to blunt your seam ripper. No, exactly. And they do go blunt really easily and then you find out that you can't do all your other jobs with it as well. But also, it's so easy if you don't put the pin in because you're pushing it, aren't you, quite too hard to get yeah. through it to then go too oh, far. Oh, completely. If yeah. you don't put the pin in, yeah, no, it's going to be a no. nightmare. No. So um, that would be my top tip. Um, I think the chisels are a little bit scary. So yeah. I always <laughs> stick with the seam ripper, which is always close to hand anyway. Yeah. Seam ripper and a pin are always going to be there. So that's going to how you're going to do your opening your buttonholes. Fantastic. Okay. And then um, the last thing I wanted to show and yeah. share a top trick was for the turning up of the hem. Right. Because you know when you do a, do a hem and you're doing a double fold hem and you've maybe got to turn up a centimetre and then you've got to turn up four centimetres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got to get all your measuring tools out. Well, my top tip is to stitch with the machine. Okay. Okay. So this might be a bit controversial. We'll see yeah, what the viewers think. Yeah, we'll soon think. see, won't we, when it goes wrong. So if I've got to do a centimetre turn up. Right. So what? What is the on this? Is it a centimetre? It's a hem. four centimetre. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to double oh, check. Oh, actually, I can tell you because this one will have been done. Whatever that measures there. That looks one like two centimetre and, and then three centimetres. Okay. One centimetre and three. Yeah. So I'm going to put this through my machine at one centimetre. Okay, so I've got it part completed here. I'm just going to whiz along the length that I've got. Okay, Jane, you can't vote yet. Jane says, I've heard about the chisel. Oh no, I've used the chisel, it's amazing. I love this lady, she's got my vote already, says Jane. Princess says, she, Sarah is absolutely amazing. Such a fantastic, clear, informative demo. More of this, please. I thought Sarah was a pro. She is indeed, Debbie. Very well done, very informative, and very professional. Good luck, Sarah, says Debbie. So what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, so I'll just do part of it. So I've stitched along the bottom of my skirt okay. at one centimetre. Yeah, lovely. Now the next one was a three centimetre. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to run it along at a four centimetre now because... From three the bottom. From the bottom. Yeah. Because a three and a one is a four. Yeah, oh, is it? I didn't do maths teaching. Did you ever think of becoming a teacher? Do you know what? No. And I don't, think, <laughs> yep, no. I don't think I could be a teacher. Why not? I think they're amazing. They but have to teach all these people that don't want to be there, that are going through that hormonal, well, like the younger yeah, ones yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I think teachers are absolutely amazing. It's really funny because I trained to be a teacher and I loved being in the classroom with the kids, but I hated the staff room. And I sat in the staff room and I find a teacher match. And it was a gorgeous school, Garforth Comprehensive. I loved it. But I sat in the staff room and I thought, I've got another 45 years of sitting in a room like this and I just that's what made me go I'm not going to do it not going to do it yeah it's a tough hey? gig could not could have gone out for lunch well no you can't really go out for lunch you have to you have to do all your duties and things in the lunch anyway um but you'd make a brilliant teacher that's all I'm saying oh, right you. so you've so a line one centimetre Meter, from the bottom and, and a, a line, line three centimetres okay okay that took seconds didn't yeah, it yeah 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 but you'd go all the way around I'd go you? all the way around the skirt so I've just done a little section for you and then those lines I can just see the stitching and I can just fold along those lines and I've turned my hem up in seconds instead of getting out all my little... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Have you ever done it like that? No, never. No? And people worry that you can see the stitching. Yeah, I think you can see the stitching. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm going to properly uh, pin it Can I just it say, uh, the this colourway, if you want you all checked out, sold out, the colourway that Sarah's using. <gasps> Is it gone? Yeah. It's a brilliant skirt for this time of year, I have to say. I mean, it's a brilliant skirt all year round, but it's a super um, spring skirt. Right, so there's my one centimetre turned up. Yeah. You can't see the stitching there. No. Well, you can, but you can't, you can't visibly see it. No, 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 no. And then straight away, I've got a line to just easily fold up. How brilliant. My three centimetre. And it just saves having that little thing that so you now, around So now, when you. you're doing this one... Yeah. Just let that one bit go down again. Would you press that before you turn the next bit up? 
or not? Would you? So you know you've got. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt yeah. you. So you've done that, and then you're going to go like that. Would you press this line before you then turn that up there? Do you, oh, no, do you want me to not. tell you what you should do or what I would do? No, no, I would say what you do. Well, I would just turn that up, and then I would take another pin. Yeah. And I would pin that perpendicular. Way because I do most of my pinning perpendicular yeah. and then I would just slide that pin out of the way. Okay. So I've only pinned once, but that might be a no, bit no, controversial. No, 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 there's no, but there's, there are no rules, there are, there are well, no, no rules. And I think that you have to go with your own level of experience. So I've been sewing for years, <coughs> I know that I can manage that through the sewing machine. Yeah. Um, but if somebody's new to sewing, then obviously every press helps yeah. to keep it exactly where you want to it's keep it. It's only because when I trained, Every single seam you sewed, you then went to the ironing board and you pressed it. Yeah. Every, every, and I still do that whenever you do dressmaking or anything like that. But, uh, and also, because most of the things I was making, because I trained in costume, you wouldn't be able to machine the hem yeah. because it wouldn't have been machined in the day. So I would then have had to uh, um, herringbone stitch that up or, yeah. uh, or something like that. But it would still work because you've still got the edge and the edge. Yeah. And then, if it was on film, you would then, I think, have to take away that line of stitching. But for everyday life, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. And then, so um, you're going to top stitch this. Yeah, from the, uh, from the top from side. From the top stitch side. And again, use your seam allowances on your sewing machine as your guide. Mm -hmm. Don't try and feel for where the ridge is. Um, and then, yeah, and then but job then you is could, done. You could, once you, you could pin it perpendicularly from the right side, the right side yeah. as well, couldn't you? Because yeah, you obviously your pins you're over. not going to take your pins out as you go if they're pinned in that side. Well, you can, because you can get your hand underneath oh, there. Oh, yeah, all right then. <laughs> Blimey, she's a bit too clever, this one. But no, no, I'm thinking about ease, because yeah. the, the thing is, we train to sew over pins, which we don't do anymore. Do you sew over pins? Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, do you ever use a, a, a walking foot? Yes. When would you use a walking foot? So you've got your feed dog on your machine yeah. and they're bringing your fabric through, but only the top one is engaging with the feed dogs. Yeah. So any time it's imperative that that top one feeds at exactly the same rate, you've got to use your walking foot. Right. Which for a lot of projects, uh, any kind of dressmaking that involves pattern, any home furnishings that involves pattern, um, and anything where you've maybe got a little bit of extra bulk. So this might have been quite nice to have done with a walking foot. Right because you've got a little bit of extra bolt going through and it's, all, it's only the presser foot pushing down on that fabric that feeds it through. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah so I, I only ask because I always think of, because uh, we didn't have walking feet when I trained, I go on and on about when I trained, but um, I always thought it was for thick things, but people say, oh no, I know now, if you've got two slippy fabrics, like yeah. two viscoses of a skirt, you want to make it like Julie Vaughan just messaging, she does lots and lots of Sussex seamstress tops, but in the viscoses and everything, if you've got your walking foot on, it takes away, and I always say, don't use this fabric if it's your first job or anything yeah. like that, because it's going to slide everywhere and it's going to be. Whereas if you've got your walking foot on, it, it, it's an additional help to keeping Absolutely. the slippy fabrics together, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tinsy bit noisier, but otherwise. Well, yeah, but you've got yeah. your music on, you're singing exactly. at the same well, time. Are you? <laughs> uh, and where, so you work in the. If you work at home, or you work in your shed at the bottom of the garden. Uh, I've got a, I've got a room at home off my kitchen, which is my office and my sewing room combined. Oh, okay. Yeah. So are there people to complain about the noise? No, not really. No, I see. No. That's fine. Yeah, doesn't matter. Uh, let's have a few more messages because we've run out of time, but let's do a few more messages very quickly. We've got so many. Uh, Sarah's great. I've learned so much this morning and I've been sewing for years. You're great too, John. Diane, you didn't have to say that, but thank you very much indeed. That's very sweet of you. Um, what's this one? I'm very impressed with Sarah. Oh, I'm a keeper. She's a keeper. Love dressmaking demos, especially with a great teacher. We need more of this, please, from Pauline in Greater London. Thank you, Pauline. I'm having to look that way to see on the big screen because I can't read it. It's too little for me in this studio on there. Uh, one more. Uh, Sarah's doing a grand job. She's relaxed, which makes the viewer learn to relax too. I take my hat off to her. I know, I can't believe it. Uh, very confident. Not, I can't believe it. Very confident on screen. Well done from Andrea Kletter in Greater London. Ooh, blimey. Well, you have to start voting on Friday, wouldn't you? Yeah. Can't vote before Friday. The phone lines are not open. Morning, John and Sarah, enjoying the demo. Would you, oh, here you go. Would you cut the pattern out on the wrong side of the corduroy? I wouldn't because um, I'd be really worried about getting the nap going in the wrong direction. Okay, so now, if we forget corduroy, if we're making it out of a cotton, yeah. Would you fold your fabric right sides together or wrong sides together to cut it out? Okay, I always do everything wrong sides together so I can see the right side of the fabric because I'm always nervous about uh, pattern placement yeah. and flaws in fabric. Right. And they're more regular than we like, might like to think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I always like to see exactly what I'm getting with my pattern. 
because you can you can scan a piece of fabric for a floor and not spot it and then the moment you lay it out on the table and you're concentrating on it small scale because it's you know you're putting your pattern yeah, piece yeah, on yeah, yeah. you spot a floor so I always do it from the right side oh. and I know that's wrong no no the thing is the thing about saying is nothing's wrong yeah if, it, if, if you enjoy it and it gives you the, fa the finish that you want then none of it's wrong at all. I'm just, I'm just intrigued because I was trained with the, putting the right sides of fabric together. Yes. You would have to place it so if it was a striped fabric or a pattern fabric, you would have to fold it so that your pattern. And so if you're doing a, a, a bodice and Elizabeth, oh, a Bridgerton bodice or something, you'd make sure that when you cut the two side panels out, that you've got the same pattern yes. on both sides, or yeah. the stripes are in the same place and everything. Yeah. But no, always. Intriguing. I always like to see it. Yeah. I've got a quick question from Haley. Oh no. Say that again. Oh, I want to see two colours together. I'll do that for you in a second. Um, thank you ever so much. That's it's absolutely been a pleasure. brilliant. You're done. Thank it's you very much. By. You could do two hours if you want to stay on. <laughs> uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So uh, on Friday, we will do a recap of everyone. So you haven't forgotten about her by Friday. But How could they? Oh, you're going to have to do some filming, apparently. <laughs> she didn't know that. Um, anyway, anyway, thank you. That really was brilliant. Let me just do it. Oh, I don't want this. Let me just do a recap then. What two colours did you want to see together? Teal and aqua. Are you gonna make a are you gonna make a panelled one then? Oh right, the aqua has more or less sold out in the bundle. Once I, this this is aqua. That's aqua, right? Let me just show you. But somebody wanted to see them together, didn't they? So that's your bundle, $24.99, about to sell out. Right? But we have and but it's more it's more affordable if you buy it by the bundle, just to warn you, because somebody made a mistake adding up. Didn't they, Hayley? Six ninety nine. Who does the adding up? Whose fault's that? Oh, it might have been Hayley. Six ninety nine for half a metre, right? And then this is teal. So somebody wanted to see them together. They're the two colours together. So this is your teal. This is your aqua. Teal is sold out in the bundle. As it's, and we have got it in the half metre. We've only got it in the half metre. Oh, we've done very well in your hand. Ask them for a bonus if you sell out. Uh, Six ninety nine. For half a metre, that's your teal. Okay. What else do I do next? Dark blue. This is lovely. This colour's gorgeous, this one. If you've got a blonde dog, though, I wouldn't wear this, because imagine if you've got a <laughs> golden retriever, it's going to have a lot of cr cream. Anyway, there's only four of those bundles left. That's brand new today, only four bundles left. And by the half metre, six ninety nine. Beautiful. How can you vote? On Friday, there will be a link on the website of how you can do it. It's only one per person. So it's only one per person. Oh, it'll ask you your email. That's how we can see that you're not voting lots and lots of time. However, if there's five of you in your family, use everyone's email address. Oh, there's a video going out in the break, apparently. Charlie made it, he says. $24.99, it'll be rubbish. $24.99, this is lovely. This is a uh, camel. I hate that one, camel. <laughs> like Describe it. I love camels, don't get me wrong. But that's lovely, oh, it's camel. But this looks gorgeous with navy blue. And it also looks lovely with orange. I haven't got anything orange to show you, but it looks beautiful with orange. Six ninety nine by half a metre. Then I've got the pale blue in the bundle. This is not available by the half metre, this one. 28 99 That's the price it's meant to be. Oh, she, she didn't like that. <laughs> She'll pop it back in quickly. It's lovely pale blue, gorgeous pale blue, that one. And then last but not least, we've got Jane's pattern. The Sussex seamstress Southwark pattern, Southwark, Southwick. We don't have to say that now. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be a village in Sussex. Southwick, I'm going to say. But it's kind of, you expect to be, because they're posh, aren't they? So, Southwark. Two metres will do all sizes, apparently. Yes, Jane, we need more information on the back of your envelope. Mark Francis says that as well. We need more information, because I can't look, you see, without opening it. Ooh. She'll be watching. She'll message in, no doubt. Did she know we were doing her pattern? Oh my goodness, hang on, I've got loads of messages. I'm sorry about this, hang on. Um, right, uh, morning John and crew. Um, Sarah is very clear and comprehensive, a really good demo. Uh, love to all. Jane, there you go, Jane. Jane is the designer. J 
Jane says, I need never come up demo again. Sarah is fabulous. No, but Jane, you need to put the information on the back of your envelope, if you don't mind. Sizes and mark yardages and all that. Um, Pam Minihani can, says, can I just say, Sarah is a sewing genius. So many fabulous tips. Yeah, she's done them all now. So if she comes back, she'll have none left. <laughs> she'll have none left. <laughs> Margaret says, uh, when washing corduroy or velvet, uh, I find that washing them and drying them inside out allows the surfaces to rub together against each other. Oh, that's a good idea, Margaret. Uh, or put it in a, a put it in um laundry bag. Oh well, pillowcase. 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 Yeah. She's very good at working out my things, isn't she? Uh, Jane said, just had a go at the notch with cotton. It's so easy and really easy to sew. Jean says, hello, John and Sarah. Great hour. Many hints and tips. Good luck with you, Sarah. Sarah is definitely a sewing street keeper, says Anne. Uh, it's wick as in candle. Oh, what did I say? Wick. Anyway, uh, thank you ever so much. Thank you very Let's much. Wave goodbye to the ladies and gentlemen. Bye. She's going off to film something. Well, she's really going off to film something now. I'm going to do a little... Oh, OK. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes. What have I got? I don't even know what I've got next, Zach, because the box only just arrived. Roy's only just brought the box. Oh, of course, it's the me motor metallics. They're gorgeous. Oh, you're gorgeous. I'll see you in four. It is time to reveal our five Search for Star sewing finalists. Earlier on in the year, we asked you, our viewers, to apply to be our next Sewing Street Sewing Star and we were overwhelmed with the amount of applicants. We have watched hours of audition videos and we have somehow managed to narrow it down to our chosen five finalists. Our five very talented finalists will be on your screen next week from Monday the 4th of April to Friday the 8th of April and we've dedicated an hour each day to each contestant to do their demonstrations. We're handing over the choice of the winner to you. So on the Friday, after everybody's done their live demonstrations, the voting will be open. Join us all next week to help us choose our Sewing Street Sewing Star. Hi everyone, my name's Jules Maiv and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favorite things, which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment, but I'm originally from Staffordshire, uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things, so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts, and then Staffordshire is very rural, so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought I was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining. Uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge so I look forward to seeing you soon. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. You are going to love this fabric. Oh, I thought you were talking about my mic then. You are going to love, 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 love this fabric. Whether you like silver or whether you like gold, we've got it for both of you. It's brand new. It's from Moda and it's stunning. So what I'll explain to you, I've got the gold bundle. I've got the silver bundle. They're as bundles, right? Then I've got all of them by the half metre, right? These are stunning. You would never believe that Moda would do this, right? Do you want to do gold or silver first? Gold first. Hang on, I just turned Hayley up. She's going to be quiet. Right, so this is your mega bundle, right? So this is where you get half a metre of each. They're already cut. £74.90. Uh, you get 10 fabrics. 10 fabrics in here. So you get the gold with the dashes and the dots. Oh, do you remember those jacks? Do you remember we used to throw them like that? You used to throw the bouncy ball, catch it and pick one up. Throw the bouncy ball, catch it and pick two up. Do you remember those? No, they can't remember those. That no, it, it works out to seven pound forty nine and a half meter, and these are exquisite. The thing is, these aren't metallic like like old fashioned metallic. It's a die that they use now. It's not put on over the top. It's a die that they use. Look, you see, look there. That's a gold die that they've used to dye the fabric with. It's beautiful. So hang on, look. So there, there's the two golds, the black and the white. There's the jacks in the black. And the, uh, when it's like, um, it's, well, no, I'd say it was like a cream. I'm calling it white, but it's like a really, really, but, but I have to say that the silver one is pure white. Let me just, let me just show you in case you're thinking, oh, which one will I like better? There's the Jackson gold on white. Well, not white, on cream. And then can you see, oh, excuse me. Can you see the difference there? So that's on pure white. They're the silver ones. I'm going to show you in a minute. That's on like a lovely creamy colour, isn't it? Right, move that way. So then now I recognise this because we've done squiggle before, haven't we? Not metallic like that though. So we've got squiggle in gold on cream, squiggle in gold on black. Then we've got your, um, I don't know what they are, like dandelions, are they? Or sunflowers or clovers on the cream and on the black. You get all of these in the bundle, remember? Oh, now, controversial. I've got kisses there on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. And then I've got, <clears throat> uh, like, lattice. So there are, they are, there you go. That's your bundle. Half a metre. Now, it's called black and gold. But you've actually got cream in there as well. I don't even want to change that, uh, Hannah. Uh, Hayley, oh, Hayley, sorry. Well, the, it's called, the bundle's called metallic black. But it's actually got cream, it's got as much cream in it as it's got black in it. Do you know what I mean? It's definitely gold. It's definitely gold. But you get black, cream and gold on that one. Yeah. £74.90, which means they're going to be um, £7.49 and a half metre. Beautiful, aren't they? Now make sure there's lots of you coming in for that. The black and gold fabric is luscious, says Sue. Loving the show today, and I'm 49 this year, and I still play jacks. Oh, Claire says, oh, shiny. Viv says, I still have jacks. The kids play with me. Oh, it's not that funny? Took me right back, that did. Anyway, £74.90. Now, before I do them individually, oh, half the stock of those are gone already. Half the stock's gone, make sure you check out, make sure you check out. Right, before I do them individually, I want to introduce you to the silver and white and bl um, black as well. So let's do the same thing again. So we've got, oh, now this is different. You've got different fabrics in this one. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, yeah, oh, have we? Yes, yes, we have. Because remember we only had kisses in black and gold on that. I've got kisses in black and um, black and white in this one so let me just show you anyway so you've got the stitches what I call the stitches in the black and no, sorry, white and the stitches in the black 
Then I've got lattice in white and lattice in black. Then I've got squiggle. Oh, so this means that, ooh, it'll be interesting. I've got squiggle in both. Oh, I haven't got jack jacks in both. That's what it is. Look, there you go. There's your squiggle in both. Then you've got your kisses in both. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, then you've just got your jacks on the white and you've got your clover on the black. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, ten. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that needs to move over to there like that. There you go. Oh, now, which one do you like best? Have you got a favourite, Hales? Oh, Hayley likes the gold and black. It's classy, yeah? They're both classy, aren't they? Which one do you like best, Charlie? Charlie likes the silver and the black one. So that's Weave and Stevens now. I like the gold one. Straight away, I like the gold one. Becky, oh, Becky likes the silver one. So we're even Stevens here. We need an extra vote. Who was that man with the beard that just came in? He can vote. Who's he? Oh, okay. 74 pounds and 90 pence. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Sue likes the black and gold as well. They're both beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. They're both beautiful. But aren't they lovely? Marion. Great show, Sarah. A great shirt, John. Great team. Oh, thank you, Marion. I'll let her know. When, well, they'll let her know in the green room now. Thank you. Ten minutes ago. She had so many messages. Right, now... now if you buy the gold bundle or the silver bundle, you get half a metre of everything. They're already cut. Nothing I can do about it. Now, I'm giving the offer to offer you the, buy the half metre, which means if you want three metres to make a skirt or two metres to make a skirt with, you can do. So, let's do... I'll do this because they're out. Let's do these first. So, let's do squiggle, which is uh, SKW149. Now... I'm thinking, immediately I'm thinking Lisa Lamb and bag making with all of these. Don't know why. The black and silver squiggle will make another amazing shirt. I'm coming to it in a minute, Derek. Derek's spending all his holiday money today, isn't he? 749 half a metre, it's 100% cotton. Moda, so you know that it's really good quality. The metallic pops, but it's not going to come off. It, if you do this and scratch and scratch and scratch and wash it, it's not going to come off not gonna I was just checking that it's not gonna come off so that's your white with your silver squiggle beautiful what do they call it oh swirl they call it swirl not squiggle swirl then we've got the one that Derek wants to make a shirt out of oh okay so Hayley this reminds me of Hayley when she charged she do this and then she'd colour all the little bits in different colours I go back even further than that and what we used to do was we used to colour a piece of cardboard a piece of paper with all the different coloured crayons then you'd put black wax crayon all over the top and then you'd scrape away the wax crayon like that to show the multicolours underneath oh they still do that Ah. Oh. This one's called Moda Whispers. That's the range, Whispers Metallic. Oh, hang on. No, no, you've got the wrong one in. You've got black gold in. Yeah, look, that wrong. Don't. Now, if you've just bought that, you've got the wrong fabric. Derek, I don't know if you bought it, Derek. This is what you got. No, now ring up and cancel that. If you wanted the silver one, do what? I'll buy both, Hayley says. That's the correct graphics there. That's the silver swirl. I do apologize, everyone. There's only 10 metres left. There's only 10 metres that one left. It's brand new this morning. And the bundles, the bundle, please be careful of the bundles because they're flying out too. That's lovely. Right, now let's do the, the one that looks like dandelions or clovers in the black and silver. I wonder if it's got a name. I don't think Moda normally put the name on the graphics. Um, flower, we've called it, flower. That's, well, it could be a clover, though. Oh, maybe not. I feel it's a dandelion, yeah. I want to say dandelion, because then you can... Blow, oh, yeah, because if you blow it, you get all the little dandelion going like that. Is it pollen, or are they seeds? Yep, 
Beautiful, gorgeous. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? <sighs> Do you remember? Oh, Derek bought it from the website, so he made sure he got the right colour. Because he doesn't trust Hayley, he says. You're right too, Derek. Gorgeous. Now I've got, let's do the jacks, white and silver. I mean, I'm calling it jacks. I'm sure it's not called jacks. Well, no, because it's Barry, Barry will have named them, won't he? So he won't even know what jacks is, will he? Oh, they called it stitch. Okay. It's gorgeous. I'll put my hand in so you can see the size of the jacks slash stitch. 100% cotton, it's Moda cotton. You know how the quality of Moda is amazing, isn't it? 749. I'd love to know what you're going to make out of it. Derek's obviously going to make shirts out of his. Well, I don't know. I'll wait till I get to the gold and I'll be inspired. Oh, imagine a quilt. Oh, my word. I can't think of the, off, off the top of my head which one I, what quilt pattern I'd use for it, but it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Monochrome. Now I've got kisses. Now the kisses comes in both colours, so I've got kisses on black, first of all. Now this might make your telly... Oh, no, because it might make your telly go a bit funny, but it doesn't. I've called it kisses. Barry won't have done. <laughs> what? Silver small flowers? Moda normally just have numbers, don't they? Oh, okay. Lovely, isn't it? It's going to be called Small Flowers now. I've taken the mickey out of Barry, isn't it? See, I can see Barry wearing a disco shirt, unbuttoned to the waist, tight pants, dancing away, winkle picker shoes, dancing away. I don't even know where he lives. Where would his local disco be? Seven forty nine, half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? The metal the thing is, we they called it metallics, right? But it's not an in your face metallic, it's just a lovely sheen, a lovely shimmer, isn't it? So that's your black and your oh no, we're still looking up the name. Oh no, because I've got the white one, I've got the white one, yeah. God, so a noise in that green room today, isn't there? Is it all the rowdy? It'll be the rowdy um, next door hobby maker coming in, won't it? They make so much noise. Oh, Leanne's on today. Leanne's on. Just waving to people. Don't worry about me. That, oh, oh, it's somebody with Scott. Who's that? Oh, is it Laura? Is that Laura with Scott upstairs? Oh, she's gorgeous, Laura. Anyway. At uh, 7.49, have we looked up what it's called? No, it don't matter. Oh, she's been taken around by Scott. She's obviously important, you know. Oh. Anyway, £7.49. Gorgeous. Very popular. Now I've got this gorgeous lattice work here. Oh. That's Laura. Laura's gorgeous. Laura's from Crafter's Companion. And I'm not quite sure what her her official title is but when I first started up there when I worked there last two years ago now um, she produced me she was my producer anyway this is called dots <laughs> okay I think Barry really needs to get some glasses this is silver dots this one called I'm planning to use them as bag linings I love beautiful linings it is gorgeous isn't it I wouldn't call it dots though no, lattice, I'd call this. Yeah, lattice. Lattice would be nice. I don't know. We should sit down and... No. They're going to be sold out. No point changing them because they're going to be sold out at this rate. Then we've got silver on white lattice. You see, now I'm seeing table linen. Do you know what I mean? Some, a really nice tablecloth or, or really gorgeous serviettes. Beautifully finished off serviettes. You know what Jean in Durham... She'd make, uh, and she'd monogram them in the corner there. There. I'll move because Charlie wasn't going to. Charlie's already got his swimming trunks on. He's thinking of his holidays. 
£10.49. He's going to Athens the week it rains, I think. Gorgeous. It's lovely. Really. A wedding. If you get married, lovely wedding. To have to have that. You know, coming out. You can, well, that's not a very good one. None of those words go. Right, okay. So look. She's serviette. It's a bit big, that one, isn't it? But you serviette in the wine glass, like that. It's a wedding. And then you go like this. Excuse my mic. Like that. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, now, I'd be interested to see what Paris called this one. This is what I've called stitches, uh, silver and black. <coughs> I'm just going to have some mud ginger water while you're looking at that. Silver Fields. Now, you know what he's thinking of? <coughs> he's thinking of in medieval times. Remember, you used to have the fields. So you'd put crops in, and then the third field would have clover in it to rejuvenate it. Can't remember what it's called. Crop rotation. <coughs> Excuse me. It like, like a woven, or like an anti or sashko even. Do you know what I mean? It's lovely, that one. So that's your black and silver one. And then the last one in the black and silver, or the silver range, I love that one. That's gorgeous. Now, Derek, I'm thinking Barry Manilow waistcoat, I'm thinking now. When you do a, a melange, no, you don't call it a melange. What do you call it when you, a med medley, medley of Barry Manilow tunes. 7.49, brilliant price, brilliant price. going to sell out no point in changing the name it's going to sell out anyway brand new today brand spanking new today right let me just remind you of the silver mega bundle <clears throat> oh that one should go in there like that like that like that like that like that like that there you go not the neatest, but it's lovely, isn't it? £74.90. This is where you get half a metre of each one. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm, my, my ginger water's not working today, is it? No, 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 it's because I've been drinking too much coffee. I've been off for a few days, haven't I? I've just drunk so much coffee. I haven't been partying, no. No. I've only got one day off this week, excuse me. Right, now let's do the gold bundle. Oh, oh, how am I off with the silver bundle, by the way? Five of the silver bundle left, that's it. That's it. Five of the silver bundle left, that's it. Gold. There's your mega bundle. Just check on the mega bundle before we do it individually. Nine left of those. We had more of the gold to start with. There's nine of those left. Right, yo, let's do the. Oh, yeah, uh, Haley would make a quilt out of that. Oh, I don't know if I'd go vanilla, because vanilla's a bit yellower than that, I'd say. Well, I don't know, I don't know now. I. Uh, uh, Cree, oh, no. No, no, you see, we need the pile of fabrics on the shelf behind me again, don't I? Right, I'm going to sneeze. I've held it in. So this one is called. Oh no, hang on, we've, we've moved on, that's, sorry, moved on, there we go. Uh, it was called Swirl, in your black and gold, how gorgeous is that? I don't know why I've turned it up that way, because it makes no difference, but, no, wrong, that says cream in it, that says cream in it, don't buy that with that, cr with that number. Do you want the number? I just found it. Yeah. Oh, OK. There you go. Metallic black gold swirl. You see, now that's reminded me. Did the, did a box of chocolates used to come with, you know, in the old days, you used to get tissue paper around the chocolates. I'm talking a long time ago now. Yes, and I think that reminds me of posh tissue paper that went around chocolates. Look, look at, look, at, look at it from a distance there. 
Oh, not so much of a distance. Could you show it from that camera there? Oh, hang on. Can you see it? It's just catching the light in a shimmer way, not in a garish way, in a beautiful shimmery way, that. Gorgeous. So that's the one in the black and gold. Now I've got the... Now let's have a look at this. Is it cream or is it vanilla? So only 10 metres this one left. That's lovely, isn't it? You see now the... Um, I'm thinking it might be ivory, but the gold is making it look like it's slightly creamier. £7.49. Oh, there's so much noise. It'll be that Leanne. Leanne's on um, Hobby Maker later. She's doing um, noir colouring in things, isn't she? And where she is. What? Are oh, your mum's what? Ah, oh, Bex's mum's just, she hasn't texted in, she's got her phone open. It's just Bex's, what's your mum called? Shazza. Trudy. Trudy. You know, she doesn't stop and wave. When she picks her up after work, she's, they're off like this. She's bundled in the car and she's off, isn't she? Trudy, how are you, my lovely? Anyway, moving on. Imagine a ball gown made out of this. That'd be quite controversial, wouldn't it? Or brides, bridesmaids. Right, so let's do Jack's. Am I what? No, I've not been in the weekend. 7.49, what's the, mark? what's the matter? The one from the birthday? Oh, oh, she brought one in. Oh, right. It's not in here. Yeah. Do you know where the, the butterfly cushion is from yesterday, Becky? No, she's, no, don't, don't care. 7.49. She said, what, I've got it at home? Trudy's sitting on it on the sofa, apparently. What? What? I wasn't in. It doesn't matter. Anyway, 7.49, this is gorgeous. We called this gold stitch. Cream and gold stitch. I'm oh, go, go, not going fast enough, apparently. Uh, black and gold stitch. There you go. That's lovely, isn't it, that one? It's not dirt, it's like just some cream um, threads, that's all. It's lovely, that one, isn't it? Put my hand in so you can see the size of it. Oh, yeah, what am I going to make out of it? The witch bag. I don't go out that often, don't need an evening bag. I don't know, actually. Um, I think it'd be something for in the spare room. Something luxury. Oh, I know. I know. You know, I've got my lovely carved, um, like, 17th century uh, sofa, Indian sofa, with the big uh, stallion's heads carved in. Sounds horrible. Anyway, I'm having cushions made for that. I'd have these. I'd have all these cushions made on that. would be lovely, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. No, it's not in my bedroom. It's in my lounge. Oh, who's that? Cream dots, and now it's not dots. At home, it's not dots, it's lattice. Very popular, this one on pre order. Beautiful, isn't it? I'll put my hand in so you see the size. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I'd make some really, really rich looking cushions for my big Indian sofa. Or, uh, oh, I've got lattice in the other colourway, I've got kisses. Oh no, Little Flowers, this one's called. Little for Small Flowers, this one's called. Don't worry. Is he watching, Barry? Is he not on that? You've got a major chat thing now. You can all chat to each other. <gasps> what, he's not switched on? He's not logged in? Oh, he's not on that one. He's not on that one. Beautiful. He's not very well, Barry. We hope he gets better soon. Lovely. Then I've got the clover. No, not clover. We called to decide it was dandelion, didn't we? <clears throat> dandelion on the cream. We see that's gorgeous. I'm seeing something Egyptian now. Something Cleopatra esque. Could you make any more noise, Becky? 
Yeah, you could like be cat. Anyway, cream gold flowers. This one's called. That's lovely. Imagine that. Pleated or something like that. that's beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, seven forty-nine half a meter. Then I've got the same one on black. Is this charged up, Becky? You sure? Not the fabric. Not the fabric. I've got a, a light coming up in a minute. Beautiful. That's your metallic black gold flare. Okay, oh, let me just take that label off. I'll just show that from a distance. So. That would be lovely in a shirt, wouldn't it? In fact, it's making my shirt look it's got metallic. It hasn't. Anyway, 749. Gorgeous. Now, what do we call this? Fields of corn? I can't remember what you called it now. Oh, just fields. That's lovely. I think these might be my favourites, these ones. 749 for half a metre. Cream gold fields. Oh, it goes that way up. There you go. Just 12 metres of that left. It's brand new. It's brand new today. And there's only 12 metres left already. The black and gold would make a luxurious pleated gathered single door curtain. Oh, that's a bit posh. I don't have single door curtains, do you? Yeah. It is posh. Definitely posh. I think either this or the one I'm going to show you now in a 50 skirt, big 50 circular skirt, would be amazing, wouldn't it? Because the lines would go in all, as it went round, the lines would all go in different directions, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, that would be beautiful. With a little black velvet halter neck top, little gold slippers with kitten heels. Very Audrey Hepburn. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do to your wardrobe. 7.49. You need to go get, get Rachel from Dudley round. You don't need to lose weight. £7.49. Only eight meters that one left. It's gorgeous. Love it. What? I'd love to know what you're thinking of making out of this. Let me just pleat that one. I can have a quick look. Such fab. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, now you see, I'm thinking you could make like a little suit, like a Chanel-esque suit out of that, couldn't you? Look. It's nice, isn't it? All pleated up like that. Quick look at the mega bundle again before I move on. You get five meters in total there. There you go, there's the black and gold one. And I'm sorry, the black, cream and gold one. 74 pounds and 90 pence. Five meters in total. You get 10 different fabrics, half a meter of each. Now, if you do buy more than one, they do not come joined together. Obviously, they've already been cut. Lovely, aren't they? Okay. Well, I was going to do the torch next, if that was all right, because lots of people want to know about the torch. So, native lighting. Right, I've got this. It's brilliant. Um, right, so this is a two-in-one lamp, right? Let me get that. This is how yours arrive, right? It's a two-in-one lamp. And inside the packaging... There you go. Oh, she's put this into last, is not she? There we go. Now, what you get inside the packaging is you get your little... Now, it's a special charger. It's a C charger, right? And it's just... Oh, it's open. I can show you. So it's this end. It's a USB thingy. Yeah, exactly. And Well, uh, something we know, that everywhere their plug socket is, like the three-pin plug, above it is one of these. I haven't got that in my house. I've oh, you've got it, have you? Well, your mum has, you mean. Oh, hayley has got them. And you've got them in your house. What are you pointing at? You, it's not your house, it's your mum's house. Anyway, I'll move that out of the way. It's a 2 one travel lamp, it's brilliant, look at this. Now, we got these in, Claire brought these in, sold out. People like Julie Vaughan, everybody missed out on it completely. Came in again, 
sold out. We've now had it back in again now. I don't know how many I've got left now. Oh, 16, that's all. And you know what Claire said? When we said to her, oh, we need more, she went, will you stop selling my lamps? She said, you're too quick, you sell them too quickly. She's funny, isn't she? She's at some beauty, oh, I might have finished now. There was some beauty thing at the, um, not the NEC, but the one in London. What's on in London called in the East End? Excel, Excel. Right, okay, so it looks like a torch, doesn't it, right? You click twice, oh, well, I won't shine it into the camera, don't worry. You shine it twice like that. So let me show it on the desk, actually. So really, 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 now that's that with all the studio lights on. And look how bright that is. Put it on the wall behind me. Oh, I just got my, look, oh, hang on. There it is, look. It's a really, really powerful torch, right? Uh, but, click it off. You do this, it becomes a table lamp. Brilliant if you're going to a hotel to do some EPP. Brilliant if you're reading in bed, anything like that at all. Have it as a bedside lamp. But then you've also got a torch if you think you've got an intruder in the house. £45.99. Now, Hayley, when I had my native lighting show a couple of days ago, we were told that this was going. But it didn't, it's still there. But she's just saying yes. Take advantage while you can, that's all I'm saying. £45.99, because here at Sewing Street, our split pay normally kicks in at £99, doesn't it? Anyway, it's brilliant. If you've never tried Native Lights more, what a brilliant way to try it. £15.33 this month, and then you pay that twice more, don't you? Because it's a three, yeah, three split payment. Oh yeah, it's automatically taken from however you pay it, it's automatically taken. You don't have to remember in a month's time. Like, you know, when I pay my bills, I'm always, because they do it all paperless now, I don't know, I can't remember them all. And then you get a letter going, sorry, you've been charged this much interest because you haven't paid it. And you're like, well, you never told me. <clears throat> anyway, 40, what's the matter? Yeah, you can drop the lights. Have you not done it yet, Charlie? Oh, no, we definitely do it, don't we? I keep blinding Becky. Isn't it bright, Becky? That light, I can see all the fake tan on your hands from here with this light. Oh, she's done it twice. She said, yeah, go on. Oh, there you go. Look. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Let me shine it on the back wall. Now, it lasts for eight hours, which is a long time if you use it as a torch. Right, then I'll keep the lights down. I'll put it on the table. Look, oh, hang on. Can you see it from above, Charlie? Look. Oh, now, 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 now. I forgot to tell you. You get it in different temperatures. Look, off, on, different temperature, warm, cold, mix. There's four left, that's all now. There's four left. I f completely forgot about that. I bet Claire was sitting there and watching, going, tell them about, look, 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 look. Off, mix, warm, Cold. Isn't it? The torch obviously is only one light. You can't be choosing for the torch light, but isn't that brilliant? Shut. No, it's as light as a feather. You'd think it would be a big heavy torch, but it's not. It's lovely. Oh, sorry. I'm getting you at home. Isn't it brilliant? You need it when you went to Centre Parks. When did you go to Centre Parks? Oh, last year. Yeah, year before last. Before COVID, two years ago. 45.99 split pay 15.33 there's only four left right oh it's gonna be too many too many too many too many well, claire claire can we have some more do you know what she's when she's in next what she's bringing with her next time well I don't have to pull that way uh, next time she comes in she's bringing a floor lamp magnifier she's not had one of those before so it's brand new it's on the floor and it comes up like that it's got a magnifier well it won't be up there because it's no good up there is it on the floor magnifier like that oh have you seen it have you seen it oh I haven't seen it yet oh it's, it's nice sturdy it's very sturdy Hayley's saying right okay oh right okay now Yoko Saito uh, Stuart had her show last week the, the other book sold out before you even came to, to air, right? This book, there's only five left. Now I know there's a, there's a cushion in here. I was sold out. Sold out. I was about to say, if you watch What Day Did Cara Do It? 
Hang on, I'm just going to show you because Cara did. Where are the pictures? Oh, here we go. Cara did this cushion out of it on the show, didn't she? Now, I, now I've got to tell you, to reorder this or any of these fabrics, there's at least a three-month delay. Not because of us, it just takes that long for the next one to be reordered. So, sorry if you missed out on that. Oh, hang on, we've got to check if Barry's put it on reorder or not. Because he's the book buyer. The book buying replenished. Is the torch heavy? No, Princess, it's not heavy at all. Right, now, where would you like to do first? Half metres or fat quarters? Half, now, is it a bundle or are they on their own? It's a bundle, right? So you get half a metre of this one. Half a metre of that one. It will be at least three months before we can get that book in. Half a metre of that one. Half a metre of that one, which I love that one. Then you get half a metre of the darker one and half a metre of the smuzzled one. One, two, three metres in total. Very limited. Very, very limited. What's the matter? Haley's got more than one keyboard, she's getting confused. Forty-four pounds and ninety-four pence. She get three meters of fabric in there. Beautiful. Now we think that she gets it printed at the same place as Lynette Anderson in Japan because it's such beautiful quality. This fabric. We have got two slides about her. Yeah, she's the one. You know, uh, Marcia. Our Marcia watches. Oh, sold out. I'm not going to unfold it anymore then. You've got what? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Hang on, I'll just fold this one up then. It's all down. Red one first, did you say? Oh, no, did you say red or green? It's the only one with red in it, yeah. Right, okay. So these now are fat quarters. But look, now some of the ones, we, some of the fabrics in fat quarters we didn't even have as a half metre or a piece. Because look at that, look at the wood grain. Beautiful, aren't they? Look, there's that one. We love that one. Lovely way to get rid of some fabrics that we didn't have by the half metre. Another wood grain. Oh, I thought there were two wood, there were three wood grains. Yeah, the other one's in the other bundle. The other one's in the other bundle. So there you go, 37 99 You get 10 fat quarters. That's £3.79. Or £3.80 a fat quarter, which is fantastic value for this good quality uh, cotton from Japan. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Got to go to the dentist this afternoon. Anyway, I don't know why I suddenly said that. Beautiful, gorgeous fabrics, aren't they? Let me just open one of these, one or two of these for you. Now, I know you must be looking at that, and thinking, "What will I use that for?" She uses it for tree trunks and things like that in her applique. If you cut it up, you see, it wouldn't look like wood grain, would it? It would look like just a really gorgeous textured fabric. £37.99. pence. She's very... Basically, uh, Yoko Saito does most of her work by hand. Look at these little, uh, this is how I knew her before, because she does these incredible log cabins all by hand and everything. I'll show you some of the pictures. This book sold, obviously. I can't show you this book now. I'll tell you this book now. But look. Look at the, how beautiful are they. She uses brown and beige an awful lot with very, very muted tones within. There she got your... um. Tumbling blocks. That must be EPP, that one, surely. Okay, yeah, so this bundle's actually called Rooster. So was it put together for that, then? Not the same fabrics that she's used, but this bundle was put together to create that. Made by Ori Orini. Oh, there's only one page. Oh, I see, because these are the pictures. And then you look at how to do it at the back there with all your templates and everything at the back there. So that's lovely. 
Third seven nine time. Keep going through for that one. Keep going through for that bundle. I've only got one more bundle to show you. Yeah, lots of our fabrics, we have lots of our fabrics, are bought, we, lots of fabrics we bring you are printed in Japan, like Lynette Anderson and people like that. Uh, you put a different one in now then. Centenary, that's all right. Have I got a project called Centenary in the book then? Let me have a look. It might have come from the other book, won't it? Gorgeous. Oh, I like this one best. Love that one. Oh, hang on, let me put it in the shop for you. You just make sure that there's nothing called centenary in here. What was what did she make? What was the other project she'd made? Oh, a, a quilt. Oh, that might have been from the other book then. Oh, we haven't got it in stock. No, well, unless something's happened, I did a, a, a sewing machine show the other day. I could only show the 550 and 560. Someone's just asked if we could show the 578, but I didn't think we had any in stock because um, Kat couldn't. Oh, Kat and Hannah both couldn't. So where was it last week then when we needed it? Thirty-seven ninety-nine. This one. Oh, I haven't got it. It's, it's in. Uh, have I? Is it not the one that um, Sarah used? Hang on. No, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here. I can show you the 570, can't, who was it, Elaine? Elaine, I can show you the 578 now. I'm not sure if it was Elaine that, he's talking to you now. Um, I'm not sure if it was you that messaged in the other day, Elaine, asking for it, we couldn't do it. Anyway, let me just put that one away. I am standing up straight, you cheeky thing. He's just said to her, Wait for John to stand up straight. Don't chew for answer back. I'm talking to Charlie now, not you. He's all apologetic now. All right, here we go. Oh, hang on, I'm going to plug that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Are we on? We're on. Right, this is the 578. What you need to know, oh, you, you're, hang on. <laughs> No, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. I've got a bit tangled there, that was all. Right, here we go, £649 now. The first thing I want you to do is have a look at the price uh, comparisons on this machine elsewhere, Yahoo, Google or Bing it. Make sure you look for the 570A. Ours is the 570A V3, which is the most modern version of this machine. A meaning alphabet, right? If you just buy the 570 without the A, it has no alphabet right so it's 649 pounds you get four split pay for 162.25 you'll pay today now what day is it monday you see if you buy this today at midnight tonight elna will get an email from our buying team or no from our warehouse saying mrs miggins in manchester has bought one of these please send it to her and you'll get it within the next few days i promise you here you go i can show this right now what we've done is we haven't gone to, and found the most expensive one. You literally, if you put in Elna 570A, I'm not sure if this is the first one that comes up, but literally all the first ones that come up all say this. And it is a direct comparison. It is exactly the same machine. Well, I say that, I don't know if it's the AV3, it's the, but it's definitely the 570A with the alphabet. So um, 90 pounds. 90 pounds. I think it's because we've got such a brilliant um, um, relationship with Elna that we do this. In fact, I was on, um, I was emailing El uh, Elna in Tokyo only three days ago. I know. It's for my book. Can't tell you anything else, but it's something to do with my book. A fabulous machine, fabulous machine. Let me take, right, let me, this is the most important thing. You have 200 inbuilt stitches. This does not include your alphabet. These are your 200 stitches that are inbuilt into the machine. Whether you go from state stitch, quarter inch stitch, zigzag, feather stitch, stretch stitch. Look at all the buttonholes. Okay, I'm not going to read these out, just really look at those yourself. Um, there you go, all of the different stitches there. And, oh, there's so much you can do with this machine. So there are 200 stitches in there, plus your alphabet. Now, Haley's got a slide of the alphabet, which you'll find for you in a second. 
Um, right, okay. Oh, that's Margaret look, from West Yorkshire. Glad I waited for this one to come back and stop. She loves it. And Margaret, this one does not come with a walking foot. That's not me being negative. But she rang Elna, were the Elna in Stockport, bought a walking foot, was with her in two days. So it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant service, right? So it comes with, with a two year warranty, direct from Elna, and that's a manufacturer's warranty. So if you drop it and break something off it, that's not included. But if something goes wrong with it, that's including your two year warranty. It's delivered from Elna. You can get it on split pay, but you're already saving 90 pounds. Now, I know we've only shown you one, but you go and have a look. And I'm not saying we're the only person, only people that have it, 649 pounds, but you gargle, no, Yahoo, Google, or Bing it, right? You will see how much it goes for. I'll just take you through the front of the machine here. You've got your da -da 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 lock stitch. Oh, she's coming in very slowly there. You've got your uh, needle up, needle down position. You've got your thread cutter and you've got your go faster, go slower. This is your reverse button here. Now this one here, you see this here, this means you can sew without using the foot pedal. Now when the foot pedal's plugged in, that won't work, listen. While the foot pedal's plugged in, well, I'll show you more about that in a second. Then if you come over to this side of the machine here. Yeah, we've used them here, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, look, 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 look. So this, is, first of all, is to, ch this is your default. This is your default here. Straight stitch, 2.4 length. It says it's got a 3.5 width, but that's the placement of the machine in the direct middle. If you then move this, you then move the um, needle from left to right. So you can move your needle, like uh, Sarah was saying earlier, if you move your needle to the left to the right. Um, then this one here, oh, first of all, that's your stitch length. And that one's your stitch width there. Right, just clear that. Now, what we've got here is this is how you choose your stitches. So say you want, in mode one, you want stitch number 33. You literally go 33 tells you what foot to use, tells you the default size for it. You can change that and it tells you that your uh, foot pedal is in if you can use your foot pedal. If you're not going to use your foot pedal, you unplug that, the icon disappears so you can now sew with it without the foot pedal just by pressing the button at the front there. Uh, we'll just press clear to go back to the beginning, go back to the default. Right, what else have I got here? Now you see these here, these are your different modes. So mode one are your first hundred stitches, mode two are your second hundred stitches, mode three is your alphabet and then mode four, which is all of them, is your, I keep calling it celeriac, but it's like a Cyrilli, Cyrilliac alphabet there. Um, so that's your different modes there. This one here is your shortcut to your buttonhole. So this is telling you that you need the buttonhole foot R on, you need to pull down the buttonhole marker, you've got your foot pedal in, and that's the size, and it's stitch, stitch number 20 that they found us there. But look, there's loads. There's absolutely loads to choose from. You can change it. That's just the shortcut 220, right? Back to the beginning. So then this is your shortcut to your over edge stitch. That's like an overlocking stitch, but obviously it doesn't cut the threads at all. Um, and you get a special over edge foot with it. Um, clear that. This takes you to your memory zigzag. And that there takes you to your default straight stitch. Along the bottom here, that's your mode button there, which we're telling you about to choose your mode. That's your clear button, that just takes it back to that stitch. Now, this is your memory button. When you're using the alphabet, if you wanted to write John, for example, you type in the number of John, I'll show you that to you in a second, press memory, a J, O, memory, H, memory, N, memory. It will then remember to type up your name, John. This one here is if you set this, you see the little icon that comes up there? That means that it will cut the threads at the end of each line of stitching. Down here, you've got your bobbin that you fill in from the top. Like, this is the same bobbin fill as my 680. And my 680 is like a lot, well, twice the price of this one. Not showing off. Then you've also got this here, which is your, um, you pull that down when you do buttonholes. It tells the buttonhole foot when to stop. And then this one here is your needle threader. I know it's brilliant, isn't it? You do take this off. It does come with an extension table. <laughs> Comes with an extension table, which fits on there. And where's the button? There. Uh, no. Uh, For, to do your feed dogs, it's here. So if you want to drop, where is it gone? There. To drop your feed dogs, you just click that across, and that will drop your feed dogs. So you can do some free motion embroidery or free motion quilting if you want to. Uh, now it does come. Complete, the minute this arrives at your house, 
you can start sewing because have you got the slide with the feet Hayley it comes with a table and a hard cover by the way that uh, no hang on which one is it that one that one this is what it comes with as standard can I put that on the big telly please Charlie uh, standard foot, satin stitch foot, and you notice they've all got letters. That's because when you choose a stitch, the letter will come up on the screen and tell you which one you've got to have on. Over edge foot, zipper foot, blind head foot, quarter inch seam foot, which is brilliant. Automatic button off foot, then you also get bobbin, seam rippers. Th this is for somebody who can sew. Don't buy this as your first sewing machine. Well, you could. You could if you want to spend that money, but don't spend £649 if you don't know if you want to sew or not. This is for somebody, if you've been borrowing somebody's, or you're, Margaret upgraded to this, and she absolutely adores this machine. Um, it does everything for you. It's the most fantastic... Well, Elna, the El excellence of Elna is am absolutely amazing. Uh, we'll just go back to the other slides, and I'll tell you some more details about it, because you've got lots of different... Look, so you get 380 stitches. That includes your alphabet. Uh, have we got the alphabet slide there? We've got uh, 12 buttonholes, 50 stitch combinations, maximum stitch width is 7, maximum stitch length is 5, and you've got 15 different variable needle positions. Uh, just a fantastic machine, 640 miles. No, keep going, keep going. There. So what you do is if you want to do the alphabet, so if I just said to you, uh, if you want to write the word John, I just need it on the big screen, Charlie, sorry. Right, so what you do is you put 19 memory, 24 memory, 17 memory, and 23 memory. Then you do 89 memory, that's a space. And then you spell my surname, whatever like that. So you can, and it will just remember that because it's in the memory. But look, not only do you get the big letters and the little letters, you get the numbers, but you also get like exclamation marks, question marks. There's even an at sign there. Look at number 83. Keep it up with the time. It's got an at sign, a musical instrument, uh, no, instrument, musical note. Do whatever you want. Web address, yeah, exactly. And then 87, 88, and 89 are spaces. So 87 is a narrow space, 88 is the medium sized space, and 89 is the big space. Who would? Apparently, I'd have to use 86 a lot. What's trying to track love into my life? I have moved the rose quartz, but it's not working. Anyway, look, 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 look. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go because it's yarn lane up after the break now don't you don't have to go anywhere now do you, how do we do this i've not done this do we do the menu for sewing street now or at the end of yarn lane okay we'll do it at the end because we used to do it now and then go to yarn lane didn't we when we used to swap studios and things but not anymore right okay what i don't want you to do is go anywhere at all because straight after break and i'm doing this on purpose so that we can start dead on 12 o'clock because stuart's got so much to show you he's got soft toys he's got hats he's got mittens he's got blankets he's got all sorts he's going to show you in in tarsia he's going to show you how to do the the mane of the lion and everything like that it is absolutely brilliant so um now i just need to tell you right all the products from yarn lane will be on our pre-order aren't they are they on our pre-order yep they're all on our pre-order now so you can start buying them now you don't need to go to yarn lane website to get it they're on sewing street you don't need to change channels or anything like that if you're watching on youtube or on facebook live stay where you are we've just made it easier because all of that swapping over changing that it's still called yarn lane but we're going to do it straight after that so, so it's incorporated as part of the family of sewing street um and of course uh, it means that you don't have to worry about you if you already bought something from sewing street during the day your pnp is covered so don't go anywhere we'll see you in five minutes from now i'll be here stuart will be here and we'll have a lot of wool on the table uh, what yarn on the table i'll see you in four minutes from now